Welcome back to the Couch Potato Show. Tonight we are uh, covering the NBA draft. Uh, we're doing a special, special episode this week. Um, got the NBA draft tonight, as you can see. Commissioner Silver on the podium at uh, ESPN Studios. Uh, back again with Frank and Eric. How we doing, boys? How we feeling tonight? Nervous for my wolves, man. This could go rough. I'm excited. It's, it's a coming of age, Tyler. Exciting. Yeah, very true. The, uh, a lot of things are about to go down tonight. We could potentially finish our season one of uh, picks tonight. If one of the two of you hit 100, I'm probably not going to hit 100 tonight unless I get every single one, every single pick right. So um, that's going to go down. All three of our franchises are going to change, hopefully for the better. Eric's chances for the better, probably not looking very good. Uh, well, like, I, th- I see it like Eric it can only get better. <laughs> I don't think – no, but the ne- the Knicks always find a way, Frank. That's, yeah, that's, that's true. Really that's fair. Cool. They always find a way. I'm, sa- I'm saying, like, it's only uphill from here. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, boys, we're going to find out. We're going to find yeah, out. We're about to find out, right? Oof, yeah. With the um, eighth overall pick in the NBA draft, the New York Knicks select Josh Lobotnik, Montclair State. <laughs> Those- <laughs> <laughs> we've all we've all made our we've all made our mock drafts, and uh, let's listen in on what the commissioner's saying. The first pick in the 2020 NBA draft belongs to the Minnesota Timberwolves. With five minutes to make their selection. Oh, dude. I thought they I mean, were going to make it right then and there. What a team. Got so excited. Uh, My wolves, baby. Come on. Frank, as a fan, you get to pick only you. Who are you picking right now? I'm picking LaMelo. I mean, I we need a primary ball handler. I don't see D'Lo as a primary ball handler. I, I, I see him more as a scorer. Uh, I like Anthony Edwards, but I think um, his defense is just not very good. And the last thing we need is just more terrible defense on the Timberwolves. So, I think he's more upside. I don't know. Yeah, no, I would honestly agree. I would honestly agree, but I think betting line wise, Edwards is the favorite at this point. So we'll see. It's almost like on paper that does seem like the safe, sexy pick, but I don't know. Like you said, Edwards would be the safe pick. Yes, he would be. But I, it's first overall pick. I get it. You want safe. You want reliable. But sometimes you got to go big. Sometimes you got to go big, especially when you got pieces like the Wolves have. And like, yeah. Said, let, listen, at this point, we haven't been to the playoffs in like. I don't know, five, six years. So, like, I'm, I'm willing to make splashes. I'm cool with that. But, like I said to you guys before, if we don't pick Edwards or LaMelo, I, I give up on this team. I'll be I'll be hunting for another one. Might be I'm a cool. two-man show at that point. Frank might rage uh, hang up. I, I might walk away for, like, three picks and then come back when I've cooled down, if we're being honest. Well, all three of us, all three of us do have LaMelo in the mock draft going number one to Minnesota. So... Now, obviously, we made picks a lot. Or we made our pick for the mock draft last week. And a lot can change. It should, <clears throat> a lot can change in a week, but I don't think a lot has changed. Uh, it's more like the lower draft. It's like out of the lottery has changed. Nothing like really in the lottery is that different. Yeah. What does this guy say we need? Wing defender. I see that. Bench scoring. Yeah. Well, I didn't see the last one. Yeah, those are fair. Personally, I think LaMelo Ball is a boss. Yeah. I could kind of see that, too, to be honest. But I don't know. Edwards with his defense. is. Are we just going to get a poor man's James Harden out of this? I, that's, what, that's what I see, man. I see a lot of iso ball out of him, which is what I don't need. Because huh. I got – we got Cat playing iso ball. That guy does nothing but – uh, back down on the block. Delo's an isolation player. He's a, he did a decent passer, but like nothing dare, crazy. Dare we call a double bust on the top two consensus picks here? No, dare I don't think do. Anthony. I don't think Anthony Edwards is going to be a bust. I don't think it'll be a bust. I, I just don't think he'll live up to the to the player that people are saying he will be. That I, I don't think he's a bust though. Yeah, I I just don't think either one one of these two guys is a number one pick, and I don't think that reflects. The draft class being weak, I think it reflects 
It's just not very top heavy. You have a lot of guys who are bona fide top 10 selections. I feel like we don't have that killer one, two, three that we No, we don't. Like, we don't have that Kyrie Irving or Zion. You don't. You don't. Like those guys. You definitely don't. Maybe we've been spoiled in recent drafts, like you said with Zion, but I don't know. I just don't see it. I don't see it either either one of these guys. Like, I remember when Anthony Davis came out of college. Oh, my God. Like, if you didn't pick that guy first, you're getting fired the next day. Yeah, it was a whole thing. Don't 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 pull up my. Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to slide deal over the shooting guard spot. Get rid of Malik Beasley because I I don't like Malik Beasley and put them all over. Any relation to Micah Beasley? Is that his name? No. No. Jared Culver, I like. He's a nice young player. Josh Okogi is literally the only defender on our entire team. The rest of the team can't defend Eric's uh, boys and girls club team. True. Any chance we get a trade here? Anyone try no, to trade? No, they, one? dude. No, no, no. I don't think so either. It have so. to be a. It have to be an absolute haul. Yeah. Also, why are we taking the entire five minutes? You gotta feel calls. Gotta yeah, you gotta. Time. You gotta take all the calls. I guess, but it's like I'm not trading this pick, dude. And he also got guarded. Unless it's for like a fifth pick and like another first round pick and or something like that. I don't know. I think if Lamelo doesn't go here, very good shot. We see him pick that three. Very good shot. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the Warriors are doing now because they just, they might have just lost Clay Thompson. Yeah, um, that's that's a great point. Yeah, I'll still know. favor him. I'll still favor him to get picked second if this is Edwards. But still, three is so realistic. But I don't think he's falling below three. That much. No, he's definitely not falling below three. All right, let's see. Time's up, Minnesota. Make me happy. Give me something good. Oh, I hope it's ball. Eric's more excited than I am. Who's it going to be? Best commissioner in sports here to announce it. It's true. 19 and 35, 45. Oh, my God. Damn, you guys got 19 wins. That's awesome. Dude, I, I was impressed with 19, if we're being honest. Yeah. Well, it's a shortened season. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Just below the drinking age, Frank. Very close. Same age as me. That's a good omen. Oh, I think so. Any shot they draft you here, Frank? What do you think? Uh, I say the betting line is like you know plus five million. Okay. I think Frank might fall. I think Frank might fall to number eight to where the Knicks are picking. That might. Be <laughs> That's number. true. No, I might fall to twenty-seven. I th- I feel like I'm a late first-round pick with the Knicks. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense, but the Knicks made some moves. I don't think we covered it yet. Uh, 27 38 for 23. But let's see what uh, Kamesh has to say. My guy. With the first pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Anthony Edwards. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll take Anthony. Anthony I wouldn't have picked him, but, um, you know. Uh, Good, great score, great three point shot. You can really penetrate. Uh, they say potential defensive potential. I don't really see it, but um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think that's a good sign that his defensive attribute they're promoting is defensive potential. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> what is this? Seems ESPN like a really nice gets, way to say that. ESPN gets more like cartoony every single year, and it's really annoying. Bro, they do. Um, it's like. I don't see the, the defensive potential. Uh, I mean, LaMelo isn't a good defender either, but I don't know. Oh, you got a football player. There you go, Frank. Oh, thank God. Yeah. That was just him growing to be a big oh, – this is so stupid. Can we make Frank, picks one, now? This is one, stupid. To, one to ten, Frank. Who uh, Give me how excited you are about this pick, ten being the most excited. I'll give it a six. Because I like his scoring ability, and I like his ability to get to the rim. Right. What, what would what would your excitement be if it was Lamelo? It's like an eight. I, I really I think Lamelo has a really high ceiling. I don't know. I just have that feeling about him. I think it's one of those one of those guys where he might not like play well in his rookie season, but then by like his third or fourth year, you're like, holy crap, this guy could be an all star. You know. Yeah, if we're being – we touched on if you're being safe, you know, you want to go with the safe pick, and it seems like that's what they did because to Maines's point, I easily see Ball not living up to his name, not balling whatsoever, but I could also see see him being that instant all-star. I really could. 
Yeah. So he's like the definition of a boom bust kind of guy, in my opinion. But we'll see. Maybe he's just a solid player all around. Not sure. Yeah. Congrats to James Wiseman. You know, a great player, SEC freshman of the year. So the guy, it was a good pick. Whether you went with Lamelo or Anthony Edwards, like it wasn't going to be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this guy was like, I remember coming out of where did he go to high school? Jeez, I forget. But he, I don't remember him being that that hyped out of high school, and you know, and then he just climbed the ranks every every year that he played at Georgia. He so. tore it up in Georgia. Yeah, I remember. I remember watching him live because uh, he came down here to Tuscaloosa, and it was crazy. He went off. I think he had like thirty five points. Yeah. Do you want to hear what he has to say? I can't wait to make Frank proud. I can't wait. I, dude, I hope he does. You know, this is like the first good thing that's happened in Minnesota in a while. I read lips. I appreciate that. No problem, dude. You are today without them. How are you honoring their legacy today? Um, as you can see, uh, my grandmother's, my grandmother's right here, and my mother's right here, and the shirt that uh, the collaboration I had, I got my grandmother's name and my mother's name on my shirt, so. It would be at all times. Absolutely. This is a really special day for your family. We're wishing you all the best. Congratulations. I know this looks different, but happy number one pick. Reese, back to you. Anthony, thank you very he's much. He's a really good character. I feel like he's a, he's very a great good. guy. Yeah, and you, you see this guy. He, he just makes defenses look stupid. He's so, so good. You know, it wasn't a bad pick. Yeah, like I said before, his driving ability is, like, ridiculous, so. I, don't know. I feel, I don't know. I don't know. How I feel about guys like I look for more like shooty kind of player out of college as opposed to driving, just because the guys in the NBA are so much bigger. You're going to drive in on man. It's just different. But like you said, he may, you know, mid range. There you go. He's got well, this. This might, this might work out because you might have him driving to the rim and then having Cat on the perimeter every once in a while. Yeah. I think it might work out. I don't know. I'm with you. There's, you know, there's you. You're not the number one overall pick on accident. That's really yeah. There's a re- yeah. Exactly. There's a reason he's got picked first overall in the NBA drafts. So. I love to see that kind of defense, though. Listen, I mean, those are those are two defensive plays I've never seen James Harden make. So. It's very true. Great point. All right, so let's go to the Warriors because the Warriors are about to make their pick. James Wiseman. Yeah, it's got to be James Wiseman. I, the biggest hole they have on their team is center, and they need a rim protector. They haven't had it since JaVale McGee, and this guy's way better than JaVale, JaVale McGee. So. And he can shoot, which is the Warriors like. So. And uh, you guys don't remember. I don't know if you do, but he played like five games in Memphis, and he got sus- like suspended for the rest of the year. So – no one really knows what James Wiseman looks like uh, on, on a, like a collegiate floor or even like an NBA floor. So I think it would be interesting how he makes that transition after not playing college the entire year. Why did he get suspended? Um, he wasn't eligible to play because he transferred. Oh. Okay. Oh, he's not suspended? Sorry, I misspoke. Sorry, my no, bad. No, no, you're good. You're good. Yeah, just for – Yeah, I just remember him not playing. I, th- I thought it was like – I thought it was like a test score or something, but I could be wrong. Oh boy! If so, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, but uh, either either they take Wiseman or they're training the pick. If, if honestly, you think so? I think you think think more shot, they trade it than they get ball because I don't think there is. I don't think they're going to get ball. I don't. They don't. I I agree. I I'm with you guys on this one, but I think it's more likely they take ball than it is than they trade the pick. I don't see them yeah. trading this yeah. pick. Uh, I I don't think they take ball. They don't need another guy in like three years that's like that's like a poor man Steph Curry they don't need another one I don't yeah. think yeah I'm we're in agreement there but uh, you never know there's been weird picks you know like the Giants taking Jalen Jones like fifth overall so who the hell knows does the Clay Thompson injury affect what they what they do I think it does I think it does honestly but I, I don't I don't see LaMelo as a shooting guard I don't see Steph as a shooting guard so you're going to have to start Andrew Wiggins as shooting guard. And take it from me, Andrew Wiggins is not that good of an NBA player. 
I think either way, it changes the backcourt. But one thing, like we, this is why we all picked Wiseman. It doesn't change that front court, and they need to change the front court. That's been the, that's been their hole for years. Even when this they were winning seventy five games a year. Yeah, when they when they were at their peak of a dynasty, they still need that big man. And they had Andrew Bogut for a couple of years, and then he just kind of fizzled out. And ever since yeah. then, it's been like a rotating, yeah. like whoever they can get in there is like who they play. Yeah, and even he was undersized, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he was. Then they had Festus Azili play there for a little while. He, he was pretty good. I think he's still on the team, but I think he's a bench player now. But Yeah. Yeah, he was scrappy. I, I enjoyed watching him. How tall is Wiseman? Do we know he's, like seven, he's like 7'2". Seven yeah, yeah. So this is now... He's like a 7'2 with like a 7'6 wingspan or something like that. And then they had freaking Zaza. Everybody, nobody likes Zaza. What is taking so long? Just announced this pick already. Yeah, yeah, honestly. Come on, guys. It's pushing the shit back. They might be trading this pick. That's why it's taking so long. Come on, Reese. Wrap them up. I feel it, at least in the NFL, I think it says at the bottom of the screen on the graphic, like, oh, this team pick was traded even before they reference it. Oh, okay. here we go. Okay, here we go. With the second pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the Golden State Warriors select James Weitzman from the University yep. of Tennessee. Good pick. Adds up. James Weitzman at his home in Nashville, Tennessee, played just a few games for Memphis. Yeah, this guy's a dog, man. I, I, yeah, this guy's insane. Yeah. He's going to be so good. And he's certainly, like, in the right atmosphere in Golden State. They actually, they absolutely know how to develop guys from, like, Draymond, Steph, Clay. They, they, they drafted all those guys, so they know how to develop, too. This guy might be one of the best players that come. I think I think he'll be the best player that comes out of his draft for him. Absolutely, I agree. I don't. I, who do I like out of this draft? I don't. I kind of like Tyrus Halliburton out of this draft. If I'm being honest, I really like his game. But who knows? You sure not Miles Powell? Listen, I hope he gets drafted tonight, man. Powell sucks. <laughs> It's trash. All right, so one point for all of us there. Yep. And this next pick is guaranteed to be the Lamelo Ball. So. Yeah. I don't know about that. Oh, dude! If they don't take Lamelo, if, if, if it is Lamelo Ball, you know what I'm really excited to see? What? The Michael Jordan versus Lavar Ball one. Oh my God! Please. God, dude, dude, Michael's the type not to take him just because of that. Yeah, and you're going to oh, see – I'm going to update the scoreboard that no one can see. And, yeah. Michael's going to say, and I took that personal. And then he's not going to – No, that, that hit home. <laughs> yeah. I took that personal. Yeah, so we all have – or no, I, Tyler does not have Anthony Edwards here. I'm going fourth. Also, Tyler's, Tyler's pick of OP top and is still in play here. I, yeah, I uh, I really really think we're gonna get ball here. I think so too, but this is Obi Toppin. I'm pulling away. <laughs> yeah, you're pulling away. You're you're only down 15. Comeback starts now. Comeback starts now. Ball takes his one. Hell yeah, bro. Do we want to make some USC picks? In this quick two and a half minutes. Uh, let's we'll wait for the. Wait. Wait for commercial. Oh, okay. Good call. Who's the better fit, uh, Wiseman for the Warriors or Edwards for the Timberwolves? I have a feeling I know where all of us lay, but I like Wiseman to the Warriors better than Edwards to the, to the Timberwolves. I gotta agree with that. Like we said, you can only hammer it home so much, but I think they have their center for the future. If they could lock him up on a nice contract, I don't know what first round guys get in the NBA. I think NFL, they're locked up for like three to four years or something along those I think lines. it's four. I'm not sure, though. Okay, so that's good. And if they can get him an extension after this, obviously, we'll see if he pans out. This could all be bull, but we'll see. And I think he will. And I think they'll uh, – I think guy. this is the start of the next Warriors dynasty. 
I really do. I, I really like this guy's game. Next, and this is the only hole they have on their team. So they still got stuff. I mean, they're still in a dynasty. They just had an all. They just had a tank. Yeah, team. I mean, you could argue they never left, but they never left. Yeah. Part two, you could say, yeah. or part part one B. And that'll be the second chapter of the uh, what do you call yeah. it documentary? Ultimate finesse move by the Warriors, if we're being honest. Even when they're losing, they're winning. It's kind of yeah. ridiculous. I mean, they they just ran they they ran away with James Wiseman in a year that they weren't going to win. It just... And it's funny yeah, they, the uh, inverse is that the Knicks are all even when they win, they lose. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. the Knicks just suck. They're, hey, I'm I take offense to that, Frank. <laughs> Love the hats tonight. Really love the hats. They're really nice hats, yeah. They remind me of the, the Christmas jerseys a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, the uh, font. Yeah, I agree. Pick is in. Let's go, baby. All right, Charlotte, don't screw this up. I want LeVar to announce this pick. If we can get him on the board in I the want uh, Jordan with his really loose T-shirt, they'll, they'll go up together. It'll be like the Academy Awards. Like a couple walks up there, you know. <laughs> they can, like, banter back and forth. In the 2020 NBA draft. The Charlotte Hornets select Lamelo Ball from Chino Hills. Pelican. Yep. Expected. Again, another solid pick. There he is, Lamar. There he is, my guy. <laughs> yeah, he also has to work on his defense. So. Yeah. All right, LeVar, here's the time. You got one one v one with Jordan. Do it. I'd kill to see the odds on that. Fantastic. Oh my god. Oh, they're gonna do the whole thing on the whole family. Oh, that's what their mom looks like? I literally never knew. That poor woman. Jeez. Right? I couldn't remember your name, Leangelo. <laughs> oh, I remember these days. Chino Hill days. Dude, this this was so fun to watch. You remember this guy? He looks like a twelve-year-old playing with all these grown men in high school. He was. Like, oh he was like eight. He was in like eighth or seventh grade. I know it was crazy. You it it goes back to the days where like you saw on like Ball is Life and like no one's ever heard of this guy. They're like, look at the footage, and then yeah. he just took off from there. And of course, all the crazy stuff with like his brother stealing stuff in China and getting arrested, yeah. him not going to college, all that signing professionally, moves like three countries, I think. Is this, including LeVar, is this the most talented ball? Is that what we think? I think, this I is think he's the, the most potential of any of them. Yeah. Sure. Coming coming into the NBA, he definitely has the most potential of the three. Yeah, yeah. Because he, he, he has what Lonzo does, in, which is a jump shot. I think Lonzo is going to end up being the best, though. When it's all said and done. Yeah, not a good sign for the Ball family. No offense, Lonzo. He's a, uh, you know. I don't know. I like Lonzo. I, well, yeah, I don't know. It's fine. I don't know. This is this is where they're separated. This guy can just straight up make shots. All right, so you guys are still alive uh, with uh, the Bulls pick here. Frank, you got, got Obi. Frank, you got Anyeka Kongwu, and Eric, you got Obi Toppin. Obi, most NBA ready player, most underrated in this draft. I don't know. I'm hoping it's on Yeka. I'm I'm out because I if I had Anthony Edwards. Really yeah, but I got a feeling it's gonna be Opie. I think Eric's gonna gain one on me here. Lavar played for the Panthers. Apparently. What? Wow. I love how his son gets drafted third overall and they're just focusing on him. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, no one cares that this guy sat the bench for the Carolina Panthers. Brian never knew LeVar played for the Panthers. I didn't know that either. That's amazing. I wonder what position. He's a big guy. He's a big oh, guy. Offensive lineman. Yeah, yeah. I guess based on the number. Oh, Pickens in. 
Let's do it, baby. Show me some OB. Yeah, I think it's going to be OB. Be somebody that I didn't have in my top fucking in my first in my first round. Well, what were you top four? Actually, I'd be fine with being OB. Yeah, yeah, that's who you want it to be, Tyler. Yeah, I want it to be OB. Either OB or somebody not that I somebody I didn't have going in the first round. Yeah, which would be insane at this point, but you never know, I guess. But yeah, your best uh, chance to get out is OB. I was really hoping Mains would run the gauntlet on this first round. Could really get some good publicity. That would, would have been, been fun. Hilarious. It would have been fun. And I would have fucking lost my mind. Yeah. I basically need, like, every single pick from here on out. <laughs> that would have been insane. This could also be a big pick for the Bulls, you know. They're, they're not great yeah. organization either. The 2020 NBA draft. The Chicago Bulls select Patrick Williams. Wow. Okay. That's high. No, it's not. I had him at seven, I think. Listen. I mean, out of Florida State, it, it's, a, it's not bad. I had Patrick Williams going seven. Oh, I didn't even have him going. going you I'm going 12. Yeah, I didn't go in 11th. Yeah. yeah, so. Another big oh. guy. Yeah, I, I don't know. I could see it. I could see it. I, I, uh, I don't love the pick, but I don't know. Means where do you have him going overall? Seven. Seventh? Okay. Okay. I might gain on you guys here because I got Obi going five. It oh, could yeah. be a, I think, a, I think you will, to be honest. What did you say, Tyler? It could be Abdija. It could be Abdija. I think it will be. Well, you know what? At this point, no, I don't. I think now that Obi's still on the board. What position does Abdija play? Small He's forward. a shooting guard, right? Small forward, shooting yeah. guard. Small forward, shooting guard. I don't know. I think they go big man. I think they're. I'm, I think they're sick of playing of uh, picking guards in the draft. I, I I gotta be honest. I don't really like this pick for them. Oh, I don't know. Don't, don't love it. I wonder what it was that specifically drew them to him. I don't know. Well, they Maybe must see something because this guy. We had him going. Tyler had him going seven, so he's he's up he's up a decent amount from what everyone thinks. So they must see something in him. Yeah. Is that a hologram, Diana Taurasi? No, definitely. No, it's just blurry. Yeah. Was this twenty fifty five? Wait, is oh, it? It was a hologram. Bro, oh, my bad, damn, my bad. You're right. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah, Frank, come on. My fault, my fault. Come on, man. What are we, all it's one for four right now? Here. Yeah. We're, we're geniuses. We're idiots. <laughs> we're the very, by the way, the most predictable pick in the draft, Wiseman. I just want to point that out. That's where we got our one point. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't have been. Yeah. I should have I I went. Edwards Lamelo. I know. Well, I know. Now we say that. You know. Uh, I know. I, I. It was ballsy going Lamelo first, but. I'm yeah. I'm more thankful that neither one of you said Edwards at this point. You know, like I yeah. thought I was gonna have a nice debate by saying ball first, but. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's far so close in points, Eric. We always have the same. Yeah, dude. It's ridiculous. Oh, We're drinking that Lavar Kool Aid. What's going on? <laughs> We're drinking the special stuff. Oh yeah. Guy sounds like the cookie monster. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, Eric, you have you have Denny going here too. I think it's safe to say that uh, no one's getting to hundred tonight. Oh no. Oh no. I think I think That's you need those first few picks. I don't yeah, know. You, know, you got to run the top, in my opinion, because the yeah. in the middle is where it all starts to fall apart. Especially because we were wrong, and there's going to be guys. 
it's, you know, we all we already saw with Patrick Williams, you know, that he's in like the middle of the pack for me and you, Frank. Yeah, that's very true. It's a bummer. Yeah, you never know, though. You never know. Never know. I, yeah. I don't know. So now Frank has 91. I have 89. And it means has 76. Frank is at 91. I believe so. You're at 89 and I have 76. Cool. Cool. I like Obi here, though. Me too, to be honest. If I'm if I'm the Cavs, Obi's still there. I probably pick Obi. But like Tyler said, they might go Denny. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's what I said originally. So I'm, I'm hoping. Yeah. But could really go either way. I feel like they're in a no-loss situation here, though. I, Obi, I feel on the, like... Obi on the Cavs would be a huge addition for them. I think he would fit perfectly. Yeah. Right? That's, that's what I'm thinking. They don't really have that, you know, that big, tough guy in the, in the middle. Yeah, regardless of if it happens or not, Frank, good for you for seeing the fit because it does make yeah. sense on paper. Yeah, because, you know, past years when they had LeBron on the team, it was like – they had Tristan Thompson there. Tristan Thompson didn't really scare anybody, if we're being honest. And um, going back, they picked Anthony Bennett first overall. He was a bust. And um, who they have before that? Oh, they had Anderson Varage out for a few years. They never, they've never really had that like that big guy in the middle that's like solidified and people are scared to drive on. I don't know. Is this too early for uh, Hall- for uh, Halliburton? Um, I think I think if it was another team, no, I don't think the Cavs go another guard. Yeah, I have him going uh, seventh or sixth, rather, Halberton. I, well, have going not, I have him down further. I have him at nine. But I think I think I I think I like Halberton, but I think I dropped him a little bit too much, if I'm being honest. But I like him. I like him at seven or eight. And J- Jay clearly likes him a lot because he is his best available. Which yeah, I don't, I don't even. I'm not even sure if that's the big best fit for Atlanta. Well, I think he's so talented that it could still make sense at sixth overall. Yeah, I think it – yeah. I don't like him for Atlanta because, you know, they got another n- not great defending point guard there and Trey Young who shoots a lot. So, I don't really like it there in Atlanta. Um, who's picking seven? Detroit. He could go to Detroit. I like him in Detroit if I'm okay, – okay. Yeah, he might go to – I don't know. What do I know? We've been wrong three out of four picks. So, like, who the hell knows? Three out of four ain't bad, as they say, but I think they're referring to it the opposite way in the song. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do we want to do picks while it's commercial? Oh, is this a commercial? No, I lied. Never mind. That was commercial. We'll do it once they reveal this pick because the pick's in. Sorry, my bad. Don't worry, Frank. Love you. No one fills out that Yankee hat like Frank. I even represent my Paris tonight. Good luck to Miles. Gilly, Quincy. I know that he's probably going to get drafted. You guys know Gilly. Imagine imagine if this pick is Kyra Lewis. It's not going to be Kyra Lewis. They're not taking another guard. Imagine if it is, though. Mm. (laughs) Just because of Frank's belittling of that statement, I hope it's him. I take backcourt. Oh, backcourt would be straight out of Bama backcourt, which Tyler would like. So suddenly Tyler's a Cavs fan. Might have to be. <laughs> Suddenly, oh, here we shit. go. Here we go. Let's see, the fifth pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Isaac Okoro. Oh, Ooh, that's high. Wow. Jeez, man, that's high. I don't know. Oh, they're screwing my draft wow. right now. <sighs> Jeez, man, this draft sucks. Koro's trash. He's a great defender, but like that's all he's got. I don't know. Jeez, man. Yeah, not great. How far does Obi Toppin fall? Like this, yeah, this is ridiculous. Obi should not be falling this much. Because I don't see Atlanta picking him up. They got John Collins. Oh, that, that game. We won that game. <laughs> Happy for you, Ty. Yeah. Frank, you're, oh, you're, you're boys. at the uh, Hal Burton decision. Now I feel like they don't they don't want another point guard there. It makes sense. Mm. Yeah, I like – I don't know. I, I don't think Atlanta's drafting Opie. I don't think so either. I don't think so either. I think he might go to – dude, he's going to fall to seven. You ready for this? Does he fall to eight? Listen, if he falls to eight, the Knicks better goddamn take him. Yeah, that's – you know, my number one emotion there would be sympathy for him, but maybe we could snag him. 
unfortunately. I think if he falls to seven, the Pistons will take him because they need, they they're trying to trade Blake Griffin away, and they're going to get some young guys in there. But I I said that about five, so who knows? Who do I have in the spot? Oh, like Denny. It's Brucey. Who's this guy? It's Bruce Pearl. How do you know? Oh, it's because it's an Auburn coach. I'm not going to know who it is. He's fat. <laughs> All right. That, that's actually the perfect segue. I got a new show. It's called I Take a Bathroom, a new segment, rather. I Take a Bathroom Break. So I'll be back. You got two minutes and 50 seconds before that pick is in. Yeah, they, they take another three minutes once it's as big as that. I'm not worried. I'll take my sweet time, Pedrini. Okay. Oh, even me as Mike. What a guy. So Tyler, what are we thinking here? What do we like for the Hawks here? It's got to be Obi Toppin. I don't think they take a power forward. They got John Collins. Unless they want to move Collins to center and play small ball like the Rockets did. Although Collins is bigger than uh, P.J. Tucker. This draft has just been a, a mess. I'm only six picks in. Reese was like, thank you for you from you and your beard. <laughs> God, that was I that was such a reach. That was a reach. A coro of all people. One out of five. Although this guy does have potential to be like a defensive player of the year one day. I will say that. He does have really good defense, yeah. Okay, so it's not Denny. It's not OB. And Eric had Denny too. Denny's still in play here. Yeah, all three of us are in play here for this for the Hawks pick. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about Halliburton though. Now I don't know. We'll see. I, had, I don't think they take Halliburton. I had a Kongwu. You had Denny, and Eric had Tyrese Halliburton. So. Yeah, Onyeka Kangwu. Tyler, where do, you, where do you go to college? Don't know. Don't care. I think he's... <laughs> isn't he overseas? No, he went to USC. Oh, no. He's from overseas. I had a funny feeling we're going to see Denny here, boys. I can see it. That's who I got. I'd be cool with it. Yeah, it's point for Frank. No. I can I can tell I'm the only one that watches college basketball around here. Come on. What do you order, Frank? The two dollar steak or the forty dollar steak? Well, who's paying? Another, you know what? Oh, it's an acceptable answer. We'd leave it. There. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm so I'm so. Scared. It's Listen. like you're waiting to hear back from someone. The Knicks are coming up. I'm nervous. I feel myself nervous. Dude, I was so nervous about what was going to go down. And I was the first pick. Like we could have had anyone we wanted to. Yeah. Listen, Frank. I may not. I may not watch all teams when it comes to college basketball. 
but I watch the SEC, which is only a conference that matters. Debatable. With the sixth pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the Atlanta Hawks select Onyeka Okongwu. Damn it. Let's go. Wait, Mainzy. I'm pretty sure that's my first point, like solo point, in like a month and a half. It's been a while. <laughs> oh boy, and that cancels out my next book of Onyeka. Ugh. That's tough. That's so tough. Yeah. Like I was right, saying, so I have Isaac Okoro, so I'm out too. Yeah, and Tyler's yeah. out with Patrick Williams. So we're, we're all sitting this one out. Not great. Yeah. Oh, I forgot he was on this team. Oh, my God. This team was dirty. And really, yeah. this sets – one of us is getting a pick, a point. Or it's either me and Frank are going to get a point or Tyler's going to get a point because the Knicks are taking Hal Burton or Hayes. Just if, no I, dude, if, Obi, if they don't pick Obi here, they're going to take – the Knicks are going to take Obi. Oh, yeah. No, that's a good point. I didn't – That'd be a good pick for the Knicks. That'd be a great pick for the Knicks. That guy was trying to go top five, and he's going to drop to eight. Yeah, at this him. point, really, Obi or Halberton, I'd say. I think it's got to be. Is left. <sighs> they could take Denny. Eh. Knowing the Knicks, they're going to take Denny. <laughs> and Denny's going to turn out to be a bum. Oh, we're talking about for the Knicks or the Pistons? Knicks. The oh, Knicks. for the Knicks now. If Hobie's there, they're taking. Oh, it. trade. Oh, oh, I missed it. What did it say? <laughs> Go back. Pistons are still on the clock. That's all that matters. Okay. Watch the, the Knicks trader for like th- a first round pick, like seven years from now. For your eighth, for our eighth pick and twenty third pick, we want to move up one more spot. <laughs> for our eighth pick. And the twenty third pick, we'll take the thirtieth pick. <laughs> and you own half the property rights to Madison Square Garden. Bro, imagine going to high school with two of the top six picks in the draft. Like it's like that thing with LeBron. It's like imagine going to Algebra two one day, and you just, after the after Algebra two, you gotta go guard these two guys. Top top six picks in the draft. Oh, here you go. Oh, a future first round pick. Oh, it's a different trade. Pistons get Trevor Reese. Oh, the Rockets got rid of Trevor Reese again. Yo, this guy gets got traded around out of Houston. I feel bad. Who died? I think it was like a sister's. I, I wasn't listening. Well, the, the, he's got to play center for them then. Um, yeah. He's bigger than Collins, isn't he? Yeah. Team's getting better. You know, the more I think about this, I like this pick for the Hawks. I don't know why. It is a good pick. There, there was the Hawks could have taken so many people. I don't think there was a like a bad pick for them. Yeah. So, like Eric said, I like Halliburton here. For the Pistons? Yeah. But, again, I've been right on one out of six picks. I really so. like Denny. I think Denny's going to be really good. I like Denny a lot, but I don't think they take Denny here. They have Luke Kennard. I'm a little bit different. I feel the same way about Denny as I feel about the uh, eatery. Denny is not a fan. Not a fan. <laughs> I don't even feel that way. I just wanted to say that. So. <laughs> don't put too much stock in what I'm saying. But now, here's a question, Eric. If you're the Knicks at, at eight and they take Halliburton here, are you going to pick Obi or are you going to pick Denny? Obi, come on. You pick Obi? Okay. Yeah. Listen, they're picking Halliburton here, as far as I'm concerned, and then snag Obi. But I think I'd almost rather, and I know I'm high on Obi, but I'm, I'm getting the point guard fever. I kind of want Halliburton to slip. Hmm. So they might have to put down well, yeah, let me, oh, hold on here. Let's it's see what they say. In the 2020 NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Killian Hayes from Lakeland, Florida. Oh, dude, this draft's a mess. Okay. Point guard. Uh, they would be their starting point guard. Over Halberton? Okay. Now, if Washington wants to take Halliburton, I'm cool with 
So that takes both of you out of Killian Hayes for New York. They're not going to pick him anyway. Well, they're not going to pick him if Obi fell. Yeah, well, no. you never. Like we've seen, you never know. <laughs> and it's that's very, you know what? That's very true. And if this bad. first seven picks are any indication, you know what? I think the I think the Knicks are going to go with uh, Trey Jones right here. <laughs> I could see it. I think the Knicks pick up Miles Power right here. I think the Knicks, the Knicks are going to get the biggest steal of the draft in LiAngelo Ball. <laughs> I, uh, hey, I, uh, I'm, we're the same family, Tyler, but I'm thinking LeVar. Really? I think so. I heard he could beat the best one-on-one. That's what I hear. I think, Scouting report. I think a lot, of guys, a lot of teams are overlooking LeVar, so I think the Knicks might be able to pick him up at 23 instead of 8. Yeah, That's, guys, I said I was going on a bathroom, but the truth was I dialed the Knicks. We were talking. We'll see. I, I, I shared some wisdom with them. So, Eric, same question you need to give me first overall. You're the Knicks. Who are you taking? Yeah. Uh, some sort of opt-out to disband the franchise. <laughs> That's what I do first. But, yeah. Oh, oh you're, Eric, look, you're, look, look away. You don't want to see this. Look away. Oh, my God. I miss him. He was so funny on the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> Like a cartoon character. What a shame. Um, yeah, at this point, my number one enjoyment from basketball is just the, the comedy. It's not, you know, it's nothing. It's just comedy. Is, is Thibodeau the uh, option? Is he the, is he the missing know. piece there? Oh, no, no. No, it's no, the missing we, piece was something from being terrible. This team, the bar position. To bring them back from, not, not to relevancy, just to stop being a joke overall. Yeah, yeah. yeah really lock into that 11th spot in the standings. It'll be awesome now. But, uh, Frank, you said first first overall pick or just with this pick? No, like I said, it, like you asked me with the first overall, if you're the Knicks, who are you going to take at eight? At eight? <sighs> so close between Obi and Hal. I'm going to go Obi, honestly. Give me right? I, 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 I don't see this guy falling anymore. To me, it, I don't know. To me, it doesn't make sense. Maybe we're hyping him up too much. I think it's eight. his age is playing a big part in this, I think. Yeah. I don't know. That could be. That could be it. But either way, I won't be disappointed with Obi or Halbert. And it's really Listen, a- if you're the Knicks, you're satisfied right now. And Whoever, if you're, like, and there's if so you're, many good guys on the board. If you're an NBA draft prospect, you are hoping to God that your phone does not ring right now. <laughs> yeah. My phone rings – Boom. Brett Favre out of the window. All right, so I had I had Tyrese Halliburton here. Uh, that's still alive for me. You guys both had Killian Hayes, obviously, off the table now. So I could I could steal yeah. another one here, possibly. Tyler, you're down 25, my guy. How dare well, you, Frank? I'm down dare by you. 15. Down, but not oh, out. Did I count wrong? 15, sorry. 15. About to be 14. Oh, pick is in. Do they do the, sec- the first and second round the same night or no? I think so. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Yeah, I think so too. I'm pretty sure, but let's see. I hope so. I do like the addition of Thibodeau. Though. It's good. It's it's coaching, especially in my opinion, football and basketball. Coaching is very important. Not take anything away from the other sports. But I think football and basketball, you need a great coach. You need one. Yeah, I, I like I like Thibodeau a lot. Uh, Brent, I, I'm a defensive guy. I always have been. And Thibodeau is that guy. He's a oh, absolutely. Guy. That's his thing. He's a he's a crazy defensive coach. He's a wizard over there. So, oh, if they don't keep that triangle offense, I don't know what I'll do. I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> Goddamn triangle! Oh my god! Goodness. I'm playing that before we we were alive. It's fantastic. It's it's like it's like the equivalent of saying like, oh yeah, we're all gonna use a Motorola now. It was good once, so you know we're all gonna use it again. Oh yeah, I like my Blackberry still. Yeah, boom. We're using the horse and buggy. My God, it was clutch back in the day. <laughs> we're using it. All right, here we go. Get excited, Eric. Can't wait. I'm so scared. With the eighth pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the New York Knicks select. Ob Toppin from Dayton. Yep. 
Sorry. Sorry, Obi. Yep, he's Sorry. crying. See that? He's <laughs> no, that's not tears of joy, ladies and gentlemen. That's tears of going <laughs> to New York. I read lips. He just dropped a big F bomb in front of both of them. <laughs> devastated. Look, he can't even hide it. This guy's fucking devastated. I'm sorry, Obi. Oh my goodness. Yeah. No, nah, but for real, shout out to Obi. You know, uh, no D1 offers out of high school, climbed the ranks of Dayton, AP player of the year. Yeah. Uh, guy just came out of nowhere. It's a shame it has to end here because it was such a wonderful arc. Imagine doing all that work just to get drafted by the Knicks. Hate to see it. Oh, I'm trying to be You guys are like, oh, the Knicks suck. <laughs> but yeah, at the same time, as much as we like to joke and as much as I crap on them, there's something to be said about playing in New York. For one, not everyone can handle it. No, no, not everyone's DJ LeMahieu. I'm aware of this. There's something to be said in what my opinion is the greatest arena in sports, Madison Square Garden, just because I'm an old school boxing fan. I love that kind of thing. So there's something to be said about that. LeBron has said it himself. He loves MSG. Everyone loves MSG, but I'm hoping there's a different sort of electricity when I'm allowed to be in there again in like seven years or whenever we do that again. Need a good Nick team. Need a good Nick team. It really sports. It's got to happen, man. The fans there are too good. They really are. They really are. Uh, it's you know I can't criticize him for the pick. Listen, that was the best pick for them. Yeah, no, that was I, the best I, available. Uh, I think we're in agreement. I think we're in agreement here. So, right. still, still, uh, a number of pieces away. The Lord knows, but oh, of course, you, you got to start somewhere. But the issue is, and this isn't even me joking. I feel like we've started so many times and never have gotten off the ground in terms of rebuilding. Or right, we're gonna do our picks real quick. Let's do it. Um, so this week, I'm in the middle of the draft. Uh, we're going to be picking college game day for this weekend and the UFC fight this weekend. Uh, throw back to last weekend, Frank, you took home the green jacket from the Masters with Dunstan Johnson. Big four points there to put you ahead of Eric. And then uh, both of you boys had Rafael Dos Anjos defeating Paul Felder. So no points for me, one for Eric and five for Frank on the weekend last weekend. So we'll start off with Frank, you're in the lead. Who you got, Figueredo and Alex Perez? I'm going to take the Brazilian here. I picked against him last time we had a fight uh, featuring Figueredo. I'm not going to do it again. This guy's an animal. So I'm going to go Figueredo. Eric? Yeah, me as well. Both these guys are really well-rounded. But the issue is when you have, especially in MMA, you're going to look to, oh, I'm better on the ground than this guy. Let me take him down. Or, oh, I'm better on the feet. Let me, we're going to keep this fight standing. The issue is both very well-rounded, but I think Figueredo beats him either way. I will say I think the betting lines are a bit too heavy. I think it should be a bit more even matched. Alex Perez is a beast. 7-1 and one in the UFC. Only loss, another issue. Come to Joseph Benavides, who David Davis and Figueredo made absolutely light work of. I was shocked, but yeah, Figueredo's going to remain champ. I need points, so I got to go with Alex Perez here. It's um, not terrible. No, like, like you said, the, the odds should definitely be a little bit closer. I think Perez has a chance to um, to take Figueredo the distance and uh, maybe contend with a win, but I mean, if, if, I was, if I was putting my money where my mouth is, I don't know if I would make the same pick. But anyway... Um, let's go to college football. Oklahoma State ranked number 14 in the country right now. What's up? Uh, he was supposed to fight Cody Garbrandt, but he's a torn bicep, so they took Perez well, yeah. about a month ago, I think. So that was interesting. Forgot about that. Um, number 14 ranked Oklahoma State's taking on number 18, Oklahoma. Uh, on college game day this week. Uh, Eric, who you got? It's going to be Oklahoma. Spencer Rattler, big fan. Just see it being Oklahoma. Eric, uh, Frank? I picked Oklahoma to make the college football playoff. If they have any shot, they don't. But if they were to have any shot, they have to win this game. So I'm going to take Oklahoma. I think they squeak out a very tight win. Listen, I'm, I was going to go with whatever teams you guys didn't, and I'm very happy you guys went with Oklahoma because if I had to be a betting man, which I'm not old enough to be, but if I were, 
I would ha- I would probably go with Oklahoma State here. They are the better team. Um, they've played better this year. Uh, Oklahoma, I just don't see it with them this year. They haven't put it all together yet. Um, Oklahoma State's playing out of their mind. They need to play a little bit better to become a playoff caliber team. But they, they're they definitely a team where if they win this game, they can put themselves in that discussion very quickly. So that'll do it for picks this week. Let's get back to the action. If I can get it up. It's not worth it. I apologize. That's good. That's lovely. Nick's broke the draft, boys. Sorry. <laughs> Finally like happened. Yeah. There we go. Didn't miss a thing. It's like magic. So the Wizards, is this, is this, does this have to be Halliburton here? Hope so. That's who I have. I have a Coro. So does Eric. I think I think uh, it's time to uh, to move on from John Wall. I see it too. In the 2020 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Denny Abdia from Herzliya, Israel. Yeah. Okay. So Denny Abdia. The guy who Makes sense. The Makes sense. Small forward. The draft goes in the top. They have Otto Porter. He's kind of trash. Washington Wizards. Do we all just have one point still from James Wiseman? I have two. I have Anyaka Kongo. Oh, you do have Anyaka. Just want to point that out. Oh, God. I took Tyrese Maxey next. That might get interesting. You know, the rest, the rest of my draft is clean. Besides Hayes, right? No. Oh, yeah. I forgot to, I forgot to mark that off. I just missed Patrick Williams. Never mind. But, you know, it's. We shall see down the stretch. Well, I see it as a small victory that we relatively have like the, the right guys just in the wrong order. Yeah. That ain't worth no points, Pedrini. At least it's not like a random dude that we have getting picked by like 25th, getting picked by like 10th. Yeah, not well, yet. Well, it could be right here, but. We yeah. shall see. I'm going to go run and get a beverage real quick. What do you think, Frank? Devin Vassell possible here for uh, Phoenix? Phoenix has – they can pick Vassal. Yeah. I guess they can pick him Vassal. You um, having some regret on the uh, on the uh, Maxi? I am now that they have Chris Paul. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, that's, that's – uh, uh, I, I envision them making Devin Booker the point guard and having Maxi to play shooting guard. But uh, not going to happen because Chris Paul's the point guard and Devin Booker is the shooting guard now. So Yeah, yeah. It's, you know – yeah, it would have been very bold of you pr- to predict the Chris Paul transaction. So, I dude, I thought he was going to. Uh, what did I say? Thought he was going to the Knicks, bro. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, I thought the I thought the Bucks were going to pick him up. I like him for the Bucks. Yeah, yeah. Was and was there someone else surrounding Milwaukee? I feel like there might have been. Maybe not. Uh, they got Drew Holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Which is a great fit for them. So. That was, that, was, so that was the best trade, probably. So, but they gave up a ton. They gave up like three first round picks, a couple of pick swaps. Too much. Ledso and George Hill. That is the ultimate win now mindset. They want to win now. Yeah. It's so clear. How many did did they get Giannis to an extension? No, it's like this is his contract year after this year. Wow. So there you go. So that's yeah. why they were like, "Fuck it." They're like, "All in." They're like, "Either we suck." Or we get Giannis back, so. Yeah, yeah, it's – I get it. But is this enough to keep Giannis out of Miami? That's the question. It's a good question. It's a good question. And a great way to attract free agents or re-sign someone is to get other big players. So, for that, you know, this is obvious. Everyone likes playing around good talent. It elevates you. It makes you look better. It's how you get the rings. That's legacy, you know? The problem, the problem with Drew Holiday is he's a free agent after next year. Yeah. So if they if they don't re-sign Giannis and they lose, they lose Drew Holiday next year in free agency, they traded three first-round picks and two pick swaps for nothing. 
this will know, and this is the beautiful thing about this trade. We'll know at the end of next season if it's ridiculously bad or great. You know, if it they rivaled what rivaled what the Pelicans got for Anthony Davis, a top five player in the league. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. It's so for next year for the Bucks, ring or bust. There's no if, what's or buts about it. I think it's make finals or bust. I don't think it's ring or bust. Really? I think I think they need to make the finals first. Um, yeah, yeah. You, you know, you can't win if you don't show up to the dance. I'm with you there, but yeah. So, like, cause like every year the Bucks are in like the Eastern Conference Finals or Eastern Conference Semifinals, and they just never get over that hump. So I think the first hump for them is making to the finals. Period. I would think... they like to win the finals? Obviously, yes, but. Yeah, yeah, I think with what Giannis has done, I think it's it was to that point already. And I think this trade of questionable transactions, I think that led it to, well, guess what? Championship or bust. But, you know, either way, we'll see if they can do it. How are you doing, Tyler? I'm doing great. <laughs> What'd you have to drink? Sweet tea. Only got a couple that, more hours to take advantage of sweet tea here in the South, so got to true? Uh, huh? What do you mean? Flying home tomorrow, so. Oh, our, oh, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's oh, our guy. Davis and Figueroa. I'm excited. I am so excited for this card. It's a nice card. Is Alex Perez – Eric, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Alex Perez the guy that, like, broke a guy's leg one time by, like, just, like, skimming his leg? Yeah. This guy's leg kicks are Jose Aldo-like in his prime. It's so scary. I think his last win, yeah, TKO via leg kicks or something. Insane. You just don't see that a lot? It's, and when you do, you see with the heavyweights or something. Or it's sometimes lighter. But, yeah, Alex Perez – He's a dangerous fighter. He's a really dangerous fighter. So I'll be interested. This is, is a big test for Figueredo right off the bat. And I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I, I love Figueredo last time when you saw him, saw him fight. And I was oh like, oh, I should have picked that guy. That guy was yeah, a freaking yeah. It was insane what he did that time. Like, just, just an absolute demolition versus a really, really solid veteran, uh, Joseph Benavides. Got a Shogun Hu on that card too. Valentina Shevchenko, arguably the That's best card. Uh, woman in the world. Yeah, I'm excited. UFC 255, I think. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, pick his own. I updated this. I updated the score that no one can see. I have 77. Proud of you. Because I have that man on Yekka. Moving on up for Tyler Maines, like the Jeffersons. So I'm not – well, you, it can still be Tyrese Max, but I doubt it. Yeah, yeah. Could happen. But knowing this draft, who the hell knows? It's – yeah. Like you said, though, we're not – I think the biggest surprise for me was probably Patrick Williams. If oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Also, Obi the, – the, the fall that Obi Toppin had. Yeah, yeah. That's another one. I mean, it was only the eight, but – Still, yeah. I mean, we were talking him up for so long. All right, this should be good. It's the 10th pick in the 2020 NBA draft. The Phoenix Sun select Jalen Smith from the University of... Oh, my God. Wow. This is terrible. That's a terrible pick. I'm sorry. That's terrible. Get him, Frank. Are you kidding me, dude? You already got DeAndre Ayton. And two and a half blocks. You could have taken this guy in the end of the first round. If you wanted him that bad, you could have traded no. up. He wouldn't have gone that late. Well, not end, maybe maybe middle to end. But like at ten, he's not going ten. If you wanted him that bad, you could have traded some of your future picks. Eric and get had like the sixteen pick. Eighteen. I had him going seventeen. I had him like sixteen or seventeen too. Frank, you had him fourteen. Yeah, so I guess I liked him a little bit more than you guys, but it's too high, man. If you wanted to, you could have traded down to like what like you guys said, like 14, 15, 16 and gotten them there and gotten some future assets. This is too high for Jalen Smith. But hey, I mean, congratulations to him. He went to Maryland, uh, saw him play a little bit when uh, he played Seton Hall. He's a, he's a good defender, good rim protector. He can shoot a little bit. 
needs to work on that a little bit, but still, it's a, it's a good, he's a good player, but I, I think it's too high for 10. Yeah. No, I'd agree. I'd agree. So text no, Buddy Max. No. Double digits. You're going to see a lot of, a lot of different stuff. It's going to be weird. It yeah, is. no Vassell and no Maxi here like you guys had. I had Clean Hayes, but he was already off the board. Yeah. So we're going to San Antonio. Eric, you are you had Patrick Williams. Obviously, he's well off the board now. Me and Frank, I had Aaron Neesmith, who's arguably the best shooter in the, in the draft, period. Um, mm-hmm. And then Frank, you had Sadiq Bay. So both of us still alive here. I like the Naismith uh, pick at this point. San Antonio could use some shooting. Yeah, I don't know. San Antonio, San Antonio doesn't look really like uh, really like shooting. They never, yeah. never have really had great shooters there. But is it time to turn away from that identity? Maybe I don't know. I think it's yeah. I think it's time to turn away from old school Spurs, old school Pop Spurs. I think. I don't know. I think if Pop's still there, they're going to go the Pop way because clearly something's working. I think Pop was smart enough to know that this team needs to change because what the way they're going right now, they're not going. Anywhere. They need, they need a guy. Yeah. Perfect example in the MLB. You know, you had the handful of teams like, oh, the analytics, the deeper stats, and now look at everybody. Everyone eats that crap up. It's yeah. You know, it's not true. a matter of, it's not a matter of if. It's a matter of when. You know, and I'm hoping that for the Spurs' sake, it's now. Texting your buddy Max, Eric. He's pretty excited. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm with well, him. I'm with him. What do I have here, Tyler? Do I have a, a, eleven? Deep Deep day. Day? Yeah. Yeah, that is just. Not oh, because I said they're gonna tr- they're gonna get rid of the markets, right? Yeah. yeah. Sadiq Bay is not gonna be the uh, pick here. That's what we said about Jalen Smith going ten. Uh, no one said that. I'm just, I'm hypothetical, Tyler. Sadiq Bay is way further down the line. Sacramento next time up. Watch. Well, Patrick Williams is also down for the block, down further, so yeah, never know. We shall see. Tiger, man, he looked good before that. Oh, what did he get a ten on a three par? Yeah, that was nuts. He, he did that lake like three times. Yeah, that was insane. Frank, great pick by you, DJ. Man, he was looks ridiculous. I, oh my god, that guy freaking cleaned house. That's, yeah. He had me nervous there. He had me nervous in the, in the front nine of the, of the last round. Uh, he had his lead down to I think one stroke at one point. Oh, Max, I'm not facetiming you right now. Yeah, my Bryson DeChambeau uh, pick was a big old flop. Love him, but he was just not a not looking good. Tyrese again, another guy that's fallen pretty far. Yeah, Jay ba- uh, Jay Bellish, you're an idiot. You've had him, you've had him here at one the entire time. Uh, again, another guy that's fallen. Do the do the Spurs go Halliburton? No, they got Derek White. They're not gonna take. Him. They got Derek White and um, what's the other guy's name? I could see them going with uh, Precious Achua here. Hope not. I have him at seventeen. I like him for my Wolves. Yeah, I had him fifteen, but I feel like he I feel like he would be somebody that would fit well. This has to be Neesmith. Come on. I hope Kyra falls to the heat. Yeah, that'd be amazing. I I think that's what I predicted, maybe. Mm -hmm. Or no, 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 I am going to the Wolves. I'll take Kyra. Kyra's so good. I'll take Kyra. So good. And he's so so young. I'm pretty sure Kyra's like 20. Wait, no. Kyra's 19. He's a a month old. He's a month younger than me. <laughs> Field yet? Yeah. Let's get into that point. Last week we had a high schooler on the interview. That's when I felt old. <laughs> this is a rough draft. 
Yeah, not really going very well. Not well. I did better in the NFL draft. Well, the NFL is kind of – NFL is a bit easier because team needs are very specific. In the oh, NFL. dude, there's so many positions. Yeah. Yeah. Like, when you need really a center in one. You're not – when you're when you need a quarterback and you have the third overall pick, there's not many options. Yeah. Yeah, you don't even have to be in love with the draft class of quarterbacks. You will take one. The 11th pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Devin Vassell from Florida State University. Bro. All right. He was supposed to go to the Kings. I'll take it. Uh, at this point, you can't expect to get anything. I was one pick off from Vass- for Vassell. Yeah, me too. Actually, two. Whoopsies. What do I have, man? We're not one. Uh, I had him at 13, so I was close as well. Damn. I'm out for this next one. I got Patrick Williams. Tadiq Bay, baby. Here he comes. This is just bad. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. All right. Kings are on the board. Or Kings are on the clock. Eric's pick with Sadiq Bay is the only one that can possibly get points here. I have a good feeling. Uh, they're not going to go to another big man. They're not going to go to another big man. They have, they have Marvin Bagley. They've had a history with drafting centers that don't work out. <laughs> yeah. Ryan Farley's calling me a mail. That's answer. You can answer just because it's yeah. Ryan. Okay. What's up, Farley? Good. How are you? Oh, uh, the one is one of Ryan's patented phone calls. Do I like this pick for them? Yeah. Who's left for the Kings to pick? Everyone. <laughs> they might go Naismith. Take Halliburton. Is he still on the board? Oh my god, I forgot he's still on the board. Yes, take Halliburton. My God. There's nothing Someone's more hurt. embarrassing. There's nothing more embarrassing than your best of list and the guy stays number one, just stays number one, just stays number one. No one's taking him. Literally. It's funny. He, he, dude, he's had him at number one the entire draft. Oh. We're at, now at pick twelve. Well, they might not go Halliburton because they got De'Aaron Fox and um what's the other guy's name? Oh no, they traded Bogey. No, they might they might go Halliburton. Who they get in exchange for that? They got Dante Divin- Divincenzo, and I think a first round pick. So are they gonna? They're not gonna take Halliburton if they have Divincenzo. No, nah, Divincenzo's a bench player. I don't know if he. I like Dante Divincenzo, except for the fact he went to Villanova, but. I like yeah, time. what I was saying before, how many guys in the fuck in the fucking Big East have been picked tonight? None right now. You think you're watching basketball? I'm not saying I just watched the Big East. Come on, bud. I'm more of a D3 uh, basketball guy, to be honest. He's more of a Mont- Montclair kind of guy. It's where the talent is. The D3. You guys really D3? I, I, we gotta be. With the 12th pick. In the 2020 NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings select Tyrese Halliburton. Yep. Iowa State. You know, That's available. I, it's gotten to the point where he's dropped so low, I forgot he was still on the board. Yeah. It's insane. Oh, look at this. All three. Oh, actually, was Vassal selected? No, no, he wasn't. Vassal was three. picked. All he was three just picked. play for this uh, Pelican spec. It's fun. No, Vassal was literally just picked. I, I'm, I'm, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm stupid. That's what I have to say. Uh, yeah, I'm out for this one. Me and Mainzy. Yeah. What's up? I'm out for the next one, too. I got Jalen. All right, I'm, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm, I'm out for the next two. There you go. You guys hold it down. Of course. Where am I?
Turn my camera off. <laughs> I don't see the back of my wall. Boom. Unbelievable. That? What's this kid hiding, Mains? I don't know. I want to see his wall. Oh, man. How much of a thrill would it be for you if Lewis goes to the Heat? That's going to be so fun because you've been following him. Oh, that would be amazing. That would be so cool. You can see his development all through the NBA. That Like, that is such a dream scenario. I'm not really a massive college sports guy, but when I do, like, love certain players, you know, I always hope they go to my teams. Yeah, there is nothing, there is nothing better than having somebody that went to your school yeah. go to your favorite team. Yeah, it's unreal. Especially when it's, like, that high caliber kind of guy. Seriously. And because your school is, let's face it, you know, uh, it's it's a high caliber school. A lot of talent, obviously, especially in football. This is another unique opportunity. Uh, basketball is looking up in Bama these days. And uh, Lewis we, Jr. could be great proof of that. We have the number, number 10 ranked uh, recruiting class next year for next year. So, number one point guard. Yeah, yeah. The tides are turning. Damn, that's cool. Projected number one overall pick. And I, I don't even think the, it's not a bad fit. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, now, I don't know how much how much that holds value two years in advance, but... Still, it means something. All right, so we got New Orleans here. We do. Me and you are alive here. Frank's sitting I, out for the next couple. I got Kyra Lewis. I'm really hoping it's not Kyra Lewis. Yeah, I want that heat dream to stay alive. I am gonna miss it, but that would just be so fun. That'd be that would be amazing. He's not gonna fall to 20. He, he might, but I don't think he will. I honestly don't think he will. I, it'd be, it would be wonderful, but I don't see it happening. And you have Aaron Neesmith here. Got any shot, you think? What do you think? Uh, absolutely. I think Neesmith is one of the best players in the draft. I mean, the the amount of value that a sharpshooter holds in the NBA today. Yeah. Like, like you said at the Spurs, you know? Like, there's the guy. He's, he's a yeah. sharpshooter. You got to adapt, people. When you think of all of the top sharpshooters in the NBA right now, you're talking about all of the top players in the NBA. Yeah. So exactly. if, you can get, exactly. if you can get one of those top guys, especially Neesmith, who's lights out. There's no avoiding it at this point in the NBA. There's no dancing around it. You need one or two guys who could shoot like he can. And if you're looking at the Pelicans roster, just got rid of Drew Holiday. Lonzo yeah, yeah. can't shoot. Lonzo can't shoot. Yeah. You, you need somebody other than Zion to shoot. So that'd be a nice piece to compliment him. Honestly, I can see that working. Eric, can you do me a favor and turn your camera off real quick and then turn it back on? Thank you. Yeah, man. Lots of talking. You got to hydrate. Got it, Frank. What are we thinking here, boys? Did they go Naismith? Listen, I think I think the I think the Naismith pick would be really good for them. Yeah, the only shooter they have is uh, Brennan Ingram and Zion periodically. Yeah, but you need you need somebody you need a guard that that's able to shoot, and Naismith can play that shooting guard position because he's not as big as Brennan Ingram. So if you put Lonzo at the one, you can put Naismith at the two. And then have Ingram three, the Zion four, and then Jackson Hayes five if you want. I bet uh bet Jay Billis is pretty happy. His uh his number one available final went off the board at twelve. About damn time. <laughs> Idiot. God, it's not even his draft. Why are we still listening looking at film of Zion? We're gonna be listening to Zion for the next thirty years. I know it's ridiculous. Hope he's not a bust. I don't think he's going to be a boss. He clearly showed last. I don't time. think so either, but I hope he's not. He's going to be a boss. I mean, they do dig very deep to find stats that show him off. But <laughs> uh, Joel Sherman made me laugh for once. 
What did you say? He tweeted, still waiting for the first athlete to say, everyone believed in me. I had zero adversity. Yeah, not going to lie, that'd be me as an athlete. But my God, I can't jump more than an inch off the ground. So Now you're telling me better. Did you see what I tweeted? <laughs> no, nah, what'd you tweet? I just go up. Hold on. Frank, read that loud for the class once you're there. Okay. Thanks. I don't know if I follow Tyler on Twitter, if I'm being honest. Wow. I don't, I don't wow. have a Twitter, so I'm excused. Wow. Which one are you? T Main's 27, I'm assuming. You use that number for everything. Um, Tyler27 under. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He said, and just like that, Obi Toppin's career is over. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Ty. Tyler, fantastic. If that doesn't have triple digit retweets, I'm going to be disappointed in <laughs> yeah. It has Tyler, zero. I'll, re- I'll retweet it. I, I got boy, you, Ty. Frank. It's got the end. Hey, we got one. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that was fun, man. That's gorgeous. All right, picks in. Ooh. Oh, okay, here we go. I forgot we were doing this. That was funny. This is 13th pick in the 2020 NBA draft. The New Orleans Pelicans select Kyra Lewis Jr. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. The point for Ty Ty. Damn, Ty. Junior, the Alabama guard who played last year. Frank, while you were gone, me and Mainzie were actually fantasizing about Luke Jr. going to the Heat, which would be great. This is a good fit. Oh, this guy's so good. What pick do the Heat have? 20. Look how fast he is. Look how fast he is. Tyler, bro. He's so good. It's Jill. He's so good. Listen, bro. If I talked about this any, about any single one of my players, you'd be giving me so much crap. Yeah, but none of your players are going at our lottery pick. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that this year, but like at any point, if they were. Listen, next time one of your one of your guys is a fucking lottery pick, then you can fucking you can talk all you want. I swear, I'll call. You want to call right now? Brandon Weston, class of 2021, first round pick after he leaves Seton Hall. Calling right now. Whoa. JD Davison, number one ranked point guard, class of 2022. That's fun. 2021. Everyone knows he's a. Everyone knows he's a first round pick. Brandon Weston's only a four star recruit. They're not for Cole Anthony, Frank Pedrini. For Boston. No, they got Kemba. They're not for Cole Anthony. They got Kemba and Marcus Smart. Come on. It's all about the depth. You guys getting scared? No. Coming back. You were down 15. What are you down now? 12? Are you ready for this hot take? 13. Me and Maine are very even in the standings right now. I get it. I get it. I'm ahead of him by a decent margin. We're very close. You throw yourself down so much. I, you're, you're very wrong. I'm, I'm not. I, I recognize my skills. I have a very small skill set. What do you say? This is zero skill. This is all luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But, well, I besides my gorgeous face I've been blessed with and the great support system at home and my friends and my girlfriend, besides all that, I'm very unlucky. No, no. I, you know, I can't. He is a Knicks fan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was very good, Frank. No. Uh, ah, I don't know. Maybe I got a shot, but uh, we'll see. Like like I said, though, I think we could all agree it is mostly luck. But – I like Naismith here. Yeah, yeah, no, I can see that. If someone rattles off three seasons in a row, I think there's something to be said about that. That I'll say. But you got to, you know, it's got to – you definitely need to accumulate the Ws. For me, it was all the NASCAR stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't be in it if not for golf, I must say. That's true. The Lord, the Lord knows. Both of you guys capitalized on golf. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a good point. Yeah, I'd still be down like two points if it wasn't for golf, so. I think I have the breakdown. I think Eric's biggest, biggest, uh, the way Eric ran away with a lot of it was baseball, I think. 
Yeah, yeah, he was very good at baseball. Yeah, Dodgers came up. Yeah, he went all in on the Dodgers. Oh my god, he got five points off that one game in the World Series. Game six. That doesn't surprise me. And honest, like I, I think my uh, besides UFC, which you know, there's two people. There could only be so much variation there. But I was most confident going in with a uh, baseball and football. Like a you guys are tied. You guys are tied for UFC. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That's surprising. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, it's 50 50. So now you guys have gotten 18 points off of UFC, and I've gotten like 14 or something. In fairness to you, Mains, you're much, you're more likely to go bold, I feel like. You have more fun with it. Nah, Mains is a big bold pick kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Which I got to stop doing because you guys don't do that. Yeah, that's a season two issue, Tyler. Well, the Focus problem on season one. Two's already kind of started because we've our picks that we've already made are going to affect that. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Honestly, we have a good amount. We have a lot of backlog picks. Yeah. Yeah. Who the heck are the stuff it's going to take? Um, I could see Naismith get a little dip behind uh, Gordon Hayward. Um. What else is there? They're not. Uh, would they take Precious? I hope not. I want Precious. Oh, they might take Precious. Uh, damn it. I had Alexei Pokashevsky. <laughs> He's still on the board. And Eric had Cole Anthony. I had Jalen Smith, so I'm out. Yeah. Hey, well, I got a better shot than Frank. That's got to be worth something. It's true. I guess one fictional point. That's what it's worth. And not even that, a hypothetical fictional point. Am I back in the next round? With, yeah, I have to call anything next round. So that's fine. Listen, I'm just trying to get this points right now to make myself look a little better. I like Cole Anthony and the Magic, honestly. J. Bills, no one's looking at your best available. How dare Tyrus you? Tyrus Halliburton at one. Wait, wasn't Aaron Nathan just one before? Thought that the Celtics look at his best available. Hold on, hold on. I'm pretty sure Aaron Nathan was one before. Yeah, I, I, thought I, I thought I remember seeing Nathan ahead of Cole Anthony. Oh, maybe so. I don't know. Yeah, on the fucking bottom, it says Aaron Neesman. Yeah, <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Jay Billis, yeah, what are you doing, my guy? <laughs> I was like, I've seen that before. With the 14th pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the Boston Celtics select Aaron Neesman from Vanderbilt University. That's a good pick. great pick. That's yeah. a great pick. That's a steal. Yeah. Celtics do it again. Damn you, Danny Ainge. That's all I have to say. I finesse somehow every freaking year. All right, come on. Precious is going to Orlando. Make it happen. They don't need a. They don't need a big man. They have Aaron Gordon and Vucevic. No, they need Precious. Do you guys both have Precious here? Oh, yes, sir. I hope it doesn't go. Need a point guard. Take Cole. Do we all have Neesmith going uh, earlier? I did. I think I had him going a little bit later. Oh, you had a lot later. You had him going to the Heat. I did? Yeah. Yeah. Silly goose. I got a terrible mock draft. <laughs> Can't even fault it by just as bad. I mean, we're all pretty terrible. I mean, t- Tyler's in the lead with what, three? I have three. Wrong. Okay. You can, w- listen, terrible. You can't say I'm terrible when I have three and you guys both haven't gotten one right since Wiseman. Yeah, listen, I think Tyler's is bad. I think mine and Frank's is abysmal. Yeah. <laughs> I can make it up right here. I can go cold precious back to back. They are one and two on – oh, they're not going to happen then. They're one and two on Jay Billis's board. Oh, so boy. Cole might go in like round two, pick 40. Sounds about right. Yeah. My Tyrese Maximum was bad. I don't know what I saw on that. I'm so confused. Was was Naismith one or two on Jay Billis's big board? I think it was one.
Celtics are going to be so good. They're always good. They always figure out a way to be good. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the more and more I think about it, I like that Jalen Smith picked the song. I don't know why. It, I, the more I think about it, the more, it like, it's, it's like a rash. Half of sports is the name, Frank. You see Smith making a big shot down the stretch? Come on. No. Eh, you don't see it. The only Smith I know freaking held the ball far too long and then forgot where he was. JR, love you, buddy. Frequent viewer of the program. I met JR one time. Did you? I'm sorry to hear that. Weird dude. No, I seemed very, uh, very simple, very cut of the mill, JR Smith. <sighs> All right, I think you guys will have me for a nice uh, till the twenty third pick. See, see what my Knicks get with the guys, and then I'll then I got some matters to tend to. Awesome oh, matters. I just texted Frank. I was like, "Don't say anything." But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, take Cole. <laughs> Don't do take it. Cole. Don't do it. Take Cole. There it is, depth of point guard. Bobby Marks. Frank, if it's on that graphic, I wouldn't bet on it. That's what I've learned. Wrong. Wrong. I will say, make, it makes me feel good when I see these guys like tearing up after they get drafted. It's cool to see. Yeah, besides Obi, that was kind of sad. Obi was tears of sadness. That's the difference. No, poor guy. Yeah, Obi's actually depressed. <laughs> I want to post on my story like Obi, you have my condolences. <laughs> Imagine, dude, he's looking through all of his congrats and like hype things, and he just sees that. <laughs> yeah, like tag him in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At Obi, I'm sorry, buddy. You have my condolences. Best of luck. Oh, I, gotta, I gotta tag. I gotta tag Anthony in my Instagram. Hold on. I haven't been on my phone the whole night. That's why. I always find it really ironic when fans gets when fans get like excited about the number one pick. It's because like your team was terrible. Yeah, yeah. But here I am getting excited with the number one pick. <laughs> what is this? The fifteenth? Okay, reasonable. Oh, we got a trade. Oh God, who is it? Thunder have sent Ricky Rubio back to Minnesota along with number 25 and 28 for a package that includes the number 17 overall pick. God damn it. Why? Why do I want Ricky Rubio again? Oh, my God. Sorry. You still – bro, you get two more picks. I don't want Ricky Rubio. You get the 25th and 28th overall pick. What am I going to do with those? There's – what are you gonna do? I'd rather take Precious at 17. Fire. All right, Ricky. Third time's the charm. <laughs> Frank, that's very petulant of you, I gotta say. I expect better out of you. What does that word mean? Petulant? Yeah, I don't know what that means. It's like it's like childish, like. Like an angry, childish. Like, it pisses me off, man. We just make yeah, stupid like, move like, after stupid move. Uh, yeah, look at that. Childishly sulky or bad-tempered. You know, that's a solid description. Thanks, man. <laughs> I'm so pissed off, whatever. Jeez, uh, man, I couldn't imagine having a bad basketball situation. That's got to suck. Eric, uh, <laughs> you, you hold it together way better than I do. 
No, no, because no, you're because you're still hopeful and optimistic. I've given up, Frank. It's <laughs> That's all, also very it's true. It's all over. I can't my remember God. the last time in my life I was like, we're going to get a championship. All right, hold on. Take call. Yeah. 2020 NBA draft. The Orlando Magic select Paul Anthony. Yes. There you go. Well, we're not taking pressures with this pick because now it's the Thunders and they don't need a spike. Is it Spike? <laughs> Spike? Why is Spike there? The hell's Spike doing? <laughs> I don't know. What the frick? What, what am I missing? Maybe he's, he's he's getting traded from the Knicks. Maybe. Yeah, he needs a new fit, needs a new team ever since they kicked him out of the Garden that one time. <laughs> Bro, I really got to take goddamn Ricky Rubio again. Greg Anthony. What a guy. Name of the film, Little Ballers. Sheesh. I mean, that was, that was almost half my life. Well, now I have no idea who we're going to take it. What do we have, Tyler? What would you say it was? 23 and what? 23 and 20. Oh, no, 25 and 28. 25 and 28? What the hell are we going to get there? Well, consensus pick for 16, boys. RJ Hampton, he's going. Are we at 16? or Yeah, we're at 16, right? I, I do believe. Yeah, this is. Oh, do we all have RJ here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What are the odds, honestly? Wait, so how long do the Thunder have Ricky Rubio? Like three days? Like Less than that. Okay, sorry. I'll stop talking about the Timberwolves. Okay. Like Eric said, I still have hope for my team, so I care about what they do. We have a big presence in Minnesota, our fan base. <laughs> yeah. Did you Those know? The demographics. Like if we had a one fan in Minnesota, we'd have 50% of our fans from Minnesota. Do you know that? Oh, I didn't want to make you spread out the water. <laughs> bro, mid sim, bro. Yeah. As soon as I said, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> low blow. Low so blow. true, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look at Cole, man. Good for Cole. Honestly, that's nice. Oh, that, that you know. Inj- right? Injury play freshman year. Yeah. This North is Carolina true. was supposed to be a top team. Didn't work out. It means a lot to these guys, I can tell. All right. Well, what do I have now? 92? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What am I at? Eighty-nine. Ninety-two to eighty-nine to seventy-eight. Okay. Okay. Tyler, where'd you get this headline from? Because they even announced it down here. For the seventeenth. For the what? For the Timberwolves pick, I just saw a flash across the bottom of the screen. It doesn't say like it got traded or anything. What's your source for that? Bleacher Report. Okay, I'll believe Bleacher Report. Did Woj drop it yet or no? I don't think it was Woj. All right, for Portland. Who do I have? Them t- oh, we have RJ Hampton. Okay. The Star Tribune. Yeah, they're reliable. Oh, this was a great game for for Cole Anthony. I remember this game because Seen Hall's in this tournament too. <laughs> Come on, Portland. You let me down in the playoffs. Don't let me down here. All right, RJ Hampton. Oh, oh, it's happening. The 16th pick in the 2020 NBA draft. Portland Trailblazers select. Isaiah Stewart. Nope. In the University of Washington. The fuck are you? Where the hell did that come from? Oh, it's a trade to put to the Pistons, whoever they want to take. That's why. Again, they could have taken this guy later. 
I like his suit. Nice suit. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that's why they picked him. Probably. You got to go with the gray suit on draft night because it matches everything, every color. Or you just go with fucking the boss, the Celtic green, and you know you're going to get drafted by the Celtics. That could happen. Listen, when you're when your draft thing is high motor and physicality, you know you can't be a top twenty pick because there's no actual skills there. It's just high motor, just because he like, goes a lot. Yeah, it sounds like bollocks to me. That's what it sounds like. It's the equivalent of UFC. He's got a lot of heart. Yeah. Isaiah Stewart. I had him going in the first round. Frank did not. I didn't even have him in the first round, though. No. Oh, yeah. I had him going 26th, I think. Yeah. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, boy. I the next couple picks off. Lewis gone, Smith gone. Mind the next one. What do I have? I have Precious here, right? Precious. Big Oppo. Yeah, you have Precious. Frank. Me and Eric are both. Oh, out. yeah, Timberwolves. Your pick is in. Yeah, it's your pick, Timberwolves. Pieces of crap. But I, it looks like this is going to be. Um, the Thunder pick. Yeah, it's Thunder. So my dad came here from Jamaica here to the States to pick sugar cane and to work on farms and pick fruit. My father used to be a chef. When I was a little bit, my father used to take me with him to cook all the weddings and party and stuff. You know, when I came up to the University of Washington. The fact that I had tires and actually going 10. Of. I thought I had freaking Sadiq Bay going. Did I have 11? Yeah, I am in that neighborhood too, to be honest. Oh, this looks fire actually. It's dinner. What is that? Oh, I have a Got some stew bay. over there. Or some. All right, Minnesota. What do you got for me? It's not ours, but. With the 17th pick in the NBA draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Alexei Okushevsky. I didn't want him anyway. Serbia. Wow. He's not excited. He's going to the Timberwolves. He shouldn't be that excited. All right, I guess he's not. He's going to Thunder. But... Yeah. Actually, uh, would I have liked this pick of yours? Yeah. Dude, this kid's oh. 18 years oh old. Oh, God, this is ridiculous. Oh, my God. They get younger and younger every year. They do, dude. If Mike is not NBA ready by 14, he's got a rude awakening coming, bro. <laughs> no food, no uh, shelter. Child services, if you're watching. That was a joke, okay? <laughs> sure they're watching you pretty close, Eric. I think so. I think so. Being honest, I don't know anything about this guy. Yeah, neither do I. I line. Where did I have him going? I have him somewhere. Um, you, you, you would recognize the public. 
Frank, you had Kyra Lewis here. Eric had Jalen Smith. So I'm the only one alive here with Sadiq Bay. I'm not going to take Sadiq Bay. They got Porzingis. Wait. Was RJ Hampton take? Oh no, he wasn't. Okay, we had him, but he didn't go. Okay, because I was about to say I saw him on the on the best available, and I was like, I thought this guy went already. <laughs> I love how these team needs are always like a healthy player. Like it's not a team, obviously. Like it's not not what this team needs means. Seriously, dude. Like the last one was like the one for the Pistons was like a healthy Blake Griffin. And I was like, okay, <laughs> good analysis. NBA draft, the Dallas Mavericks select Josh Green from Sydney, Australia. Hi again. We're way off today. I had like 20 no, I was only, I was one pick away. You were? Good story. I had, I had him at 23, I think. Going next. What pick, what pick number is this? 18. I have going, going to 19 right. now. Oh, I had him going 21, so I'm not that far off. No, we were yeah, all I'm going 20th. We were all ballpark. Yeah. Was Jaden McDaniels taking yet? I don't think so, right? No. I believe. You know it's time for Leonardo Balmero, guys. You right now. Rank one to ten. I hate to bring it up again, but the Ricky Rubio deal. What are we feeling? It depends who they draft with the picks. Can I get back to you on that? Yeah, absolutely. Because if they if they draft another point guard, then I'm fine with it. Okay. If they draft a if they draft a point guard, who can defend or a point guard and a defender? And I'm cool with it. I don't like Ricky Rubio, but I can deal because he has gotten. I, that was just raw emotion. I, I can deal with Ricky Rubio. I don't like him, but you know, it is what it is. I feel it. I, again, Bobby Marks, you're an idiot. Obviously, they need ca- healthy Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. Like, what is this? They need it, Frank. It's like LeBron getting injured on the Lakers and saying their team needs a healthy LeBron. Like, no shit. <laughs> Steve Nash, I'm excited. That can, like I said before, when he got hired, that can either go really well or really terribly, and there's going to be no in between. I think it's going to go really well. I think Nash is, uh, you know. I think if there there is a player like Kyrie that can play in Nash's fast paced system. Yeah. Oh, it's a national interview. Joining a uh, Aaron Boone-like situation here. A lot of stars in the team. Yeah, just like just like Aaron Boone doesn't have to really do anything. Yeah, he inherited inherited a good team. He somehow made doesn't it stop worse. making questionable calls, but you know. yeah, managed to make it worse. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's worse. Oh, we're not going to talk about baseball. Mm-hmm. Bubba! Bubba, what's good? With no spotlight, we all look the same. You love black culture. I saw Denny Hamlin in a commercial last week. Me too. Me too. Dude, I can't wait for next NASCAR season. They're that all oh, Alabama football. Anyway, um, I can't wait for Mike, the Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan's team. He has a team there? You didn't hear about that? No, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, Michael Jordan owns – Michael Jordan and Denny Hamlin are co-owning a team, and Bubba Wallace is going to be the driver. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We did talk about this. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Dude, that's sick. I forgot. Also, the, the college football top 25 show, I might do my own um, separate video for that. Unless you want, you guys want to do it with me. I won't. I don't have much to offer, but uh, I am lazy and useless. 
sucks. So. Yeah, I know. That. At least he admits it. At least he's well aware of it. Oh yeah, self aware, self aware though. My God, boy, am I. The first step is admitting you have a problem. Eric just doesn't <laughs> do the rest of them. Yeah. Guys, I gotta get off the Schneid. Not since the uh, young days of James Wiseman have I. Pretty- you haven't got one right since Wiseman. No. no. Frank, come on. Oh, you, you got, you've only gotten one. You barely got one. I know, but it feels like so much longer. Right, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll yeah. be right back. Yes, sir. Jeez, so yeah. What do I have going next? I don't even know. Jaden McDaniel. Oh, so he can still get picked. You think McDaniels or Balmero? Who's got a better shot at a rating? Shoot me straight. I think Balmero does. Okay. Okay. I like it. But those international prospects, you never really know if you're being real. Yeah. yeah. They're always like, I know we have like a bunch of film on them, but like, I don't know. It's, that is, that's the riskier call. It just is. Yeah. Less traditional, but you know, sometimes now, do, it's gold. Now, is this guy a piece in a James Harden trade like I predicted earlier? Good question. So, who would the Rockets want to take? They want to take a shooter, so they would probably take uh, your guy over. Yeah, I think so. Although, I could be wrong. A lot of those guys coming from Europe, you got a lot of shooters. Yeah, they, they do a lot of shooting over there. They do. Ever, ever since Luca got drafted, it's been like, oh, now we have to pick European players. Oh, or I should say since Porzingis got drafted, actually. Yeah, yeah. He was the really the first guy to start off from Latvia, I believe. Yeah. It's cool. Oh. All right, so I'm hoping for – oh, we don't have Tyler Thomas sound up. Okay. Oh, well, oh, this is a trade? Tyler, turn the sound up. God damn it. And they'll put it on the graphic. I can't freaking hear it. He's saying, Jay Billis' best available are in just rating it. Look, same thing. Healthy Kyrie and Kevin Durant and Joe Harris. Joe Harris started in the goddamn team. What do you mean? <laughs> it's like saying Yankee strengths from the 19 and whenever they like baby. No, it's like it's like, like, like saying Aaron. Yankees Yankees team needs Aaron Judge. What? They need him. Let's do it. Balmero, baby. Jimmy Jaden. Sadiq. That's a good pick for them. Yeah, I think so too. I think good so. To be honest, I'm surprised he fell this far. What did Tyler have? Uh, Josh Green. Okay. I do believe. Yeah. That's a good pick for them. Stretch four? Yeah. No, no. I'm in love with uh, Brooklyn next year. I don't know. I think it's going to fall apart. I think we're going to have another yeah. Houston situation. Oh, my goodness. That'd be a disaster. Yeah. I think, I think, um, I think you have too many ball dominant players over there. Yeah, Kyrie's a ball dominant point guard. Kevin Durant's Kevin Durant, and you got Karis LeVert who took a big step forward. I don't expect him to, to just slash his shots in half okay. for no reason. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Okay. Sadiq. Sadiq Bay. Did I get that right? No. no. Wow. You had Josh. Oh yeah, you're one off from Bay. Tyler's kicking our ass. Dude, I've been one off pretty much every single time. Mains is the MVP. Close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, Tyler. Dude. It's good so saying. Cool. I like that. All right. I'm going to get more sweet tea. I will say this guy, this guy's legit. This guy can play. Oh, Mamu, what's good? What's good? My guy. Good pick next year. Oh, yeah. He torched us uh, when we played them. So. Oh, boy. So, yeah, the only one who's got a shot here is Mainzy with Maxi. Who's picking? Miami? Miami. Oh, they might. Oh, they could take Maxi. I'd see it. Oh, they been locked in tonight. If well, who's he have next? Maxie. Who's he have next? Because that's who they're going to take. Ty- Tyrell Terry. All right, so they're going to take Tyrell Terry, and then whoever's 21 is going to take Maxi. Because that's how Tyler's night is going. Yeah, no, we need Maxi. I know, I'm saying that the way your night is going. That's what's yeah, going to happen. The way my night's going, this is going to be Tyrell Terry. Yeah. What position does Terry play? Small forward, I think. I could be wrong. Yeah. I don't really know a lot about Terry. Bro, we need a center. Tyrell Terry. Oh, 
Oh, he's a point guard. Sorry. Fuck, I'll take RJ Hampton. Oh, yeah. Dude, RJ Hampton at this point? Oh, that's a steal. Deal. Also, you could take Precious here. That's also be a good pick. Precious is the center, right? He's a power forward. But you can move to you can move Bam to center and play him a power forward. No, we need somebody bigger than Bam. Bam Bam needs to be a power forward. He would he's so take, good he's so good as a center. He would dominate if he was a power forward. You could take as a as a bouquet, but he he's uh, he's only first round and slash second round pick. He's a big pick center. Out of Kansas. I'm going 30th, I think. I can't believe Tyler Bay is Jay Bose's number five right now. I don't know who that is. Exactly. <laughs> I watch college basketball. I don't know who that is. Team needs bench depth. Team needs own free agents. What? Listen, Team I've needs gone. Bam Adebayo. I would be fine with losing Goron if we drafted RJ now. Well, if you lose, if you lose Goron, you could take um the guy we were just talking about. What's his face? Oh, okay. Harry. What position does Maxi play? Shooting guard. Oh, we don't need that. You can play point guard though. He just he would just be a ball dominant point guard probably. I'm a bomb, what a homie. Colin Anthony, why don't you stop crying? I'll pick you up from the airport. Let's work. <laughs> My computer's dying. Don't plug that shit in. I know, but it's like, all, is it going to reach over here? A long night. Move over there if you got to. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll move over when it's like, gives me the warning to die. Wait, I'm I just... Need- I need you in the middle of the screen here. Bye. I'm going to have you turn off your camera. Eric, turn off your camera and then turn it back on. Oh, it barely fits over here. I feel like I'm in class. This is awesome. You can turn it back on. (laughs) You can turn it back on. The only when you turn your camera you know. off and on, you go to the bottom. Gotcha. When I put the when I put the name tags in, I need you at the bottom because I'm not moving the fucking name tags. <laughs> Who are we thinking for the Knicks right now? Twenty three. I hate to skip over Maines' pick, but as of now, we're not, we're not talking about the Knicks right now. All right. It depends who's available still. We'll see. Mains, who do you want right now? For the Honestly, game? I'll take Maxi. No, not really. Eh. I'll take Precious. I'll take um, RJ Hampton. Precious more so than RJ? No, I'd say R- I'd say RJ more. RJ a little more. Okay. Hopefully they get your wish. With the 20th pick in the 2020 NBA draft, Miami Heat select Precious Achua from Portland. Dude, how is RJ dropping? What is he wearing on his head? I don't know what that is. Um, my question is, how is RJ dropping this goddamn far? I don't know. Listen, if he's available at what twenty-five, come here, take him. Because the way it's going right now, no one's picking RJ. Bender, what are the Knicks at? 23? Uh, yes, 23. If he's available at 23, they should take him. RJ, RJ you're saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro, I get no Report, with two RJs on the team. Bleacher Report's pro comparison for Precious Achua is Nazir Little. Of all the players you can choose from, 
You choose like a two year little. player. That's bizarre. Like the fuck? Who'd the Nets take again? Sadiq. Ah. Uh. Who's picking around 76ers? Indeed. Earl Terry right now? No, I got Ben Simmons. He's playing point guard. Theo, man. Theo. Uh... No, nah, they might go Tyrese Maxey. No, no, no. Who do I have going here? Josh Green, unfortunately. Ah, oh, frick. All right, well. I've got a lot of potential here over these next picks, but I guess everyone does. Yeah, yeah, so draft that it's like back up. Names is like one or two on the dot picks away from like having a pretty good draft. Well, this draft is too far gone for me and you, Eric. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Max is post on his story. I need to get my live reaction to the next pick. I like Tyrese Maxey here. Oh, wait, J Balls hasn't won. Never mind. He's not going here. It would be RJ Hampton, probably. I, think, I feel like there's something on RJ Hampton that we don't know about for him to fall this far. Jaden McDaniels, possibly. Yeah. Dude, J Billis's big board is changing minute by minute. I'm fucking done with this. It's changing minute by minute. They used to have fucking Trey Jones, number four, and now he's number six. Unbelievable. How's that work? <laughs> Yo, e- PSA to whoever's working at ESPN right now, whoever's working in the graphics department, get your shit together. This is awful. <laughs> Frank, this tweet him right horrible. now, Frank. Also, the fact that RJ Hampton is not his number one available is kind of whack. Just saying. It could be the fucking graphics person might just be making a fucking mistake. He like, could be making stuff up and he lost connection or something. They're, yeah, they're definitely making it up as they go. Aren't we all? Aren't we all just making no, that's what we're doing. No, we didn't. We came prepared. You're damn right. Not accurate, but prepared. Hey, I'll take 10%. I will take a 10%. Especially because how close you've been on other things. That's why I'm saying it's a good draft for you if you have like two on the dot at this point. If I can, if I come at it tonight on the winning end of uh, – it? One, two, three. Coming out with more points than you guys. It's a win. That's all I need. Do you mean more points in terms of draft points or overall points? I mean draft points. Draft okay, because I was going to say, Tyler does go to Alabama, but like that, that, that math is not out of it. I like this Desmond Bain guy. I have him going later. Yeah, I think I am going to the Knicks when they have the 27th pick. Yeah. Do it too. Better rainy. Sixers made a significant trade earlier today. Al Horford. To Oklahoma City, three years, eighty million dollars left on his deal. And listen, this is a a Philadelphia team now with Doc Rivers. Ooh, I, will, I like this for the Thunder. And for Oklahoma yeah. City, the silly, the silly meet me. They're going to use Danny Green, best uh, European point guards, twenty-six-year-old Serbian, who, uh, I'm, who the, I think the Thunder believe could be a rotation guard. To NBA, I know this guy is seventeen future first round picks uh, between this draft and 2026 for Sam Preston in Oklahoma City. Oh my God. Did you guys just see that? What? All right, well, so that's what the six- Oklahoma City has 17 picks from now until 2026. Yeah. The head coach now, he'll join us. Are you in- kidding me? 
what the Sixers are going to do. What do you expect from Philadelphia here? They need shooting. You know, I look at Desmond Bain as one of the better shooters in this draft, shot over 40. No, don't take Bain. Don't take Bain. He was 6'6", can really defend. And then you have some guards like Malachi Flynn, Mountain West Player of the Year at San Diego. Tyrell State. Terry? Peyton Pritchard as well out of they Oregon. They could go. Peyton Pritchard? Peyton Pritchard? <laughs> Stanford and also Jordan Wara is an excellent shooter from Louisville, six seven. He was a terrific player and a guy who can also finish Sixers pick is now in. Let's go to the commission. With the twenty first pick in the two thousand twenty NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Tyrese Maxey from the University. Yep. Good, good pick. pick. That's a good pick. That's a steal. Yeah, that's a great pick. I heard the T, and I was like, is it Tyrell Perry? Is it Theo Maldon? However the hell you pronounce it? Maladon. Uh, yeah. Bro, whoever the fuck is screaming in the background at the fucking Maxi household needs to shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, whoa, this guy. Trey Jones, baby. He's coming. Who's picking right now? Denver. I don't need a point guard. Nah, what do you do? Do I have pay? Cole Anthony. Leandro. Cole Anthony was already paid, Tyler. No. Nah, Leandro Bolmero. I like I like Maxi a lot. I Max think he's good. this might be the steal of the draft right here at 21. Uh, no, whoever's gonna get whoever gets Hampton. Is whoever gets yeah. Whoever, yeah. yeah. Whoever gets Hampton. Nah, bro, Obi. Guys a beast. I gotta see how it turns out. I don't. I feel like I feel like Opie has a less of a ceiling than these other guys. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, me too. I think he is very. Like he's more. He's more developed right now, but I think he's less of a ceiling to develop into something better. If yeah, he's sense. almost the he's almost the antithesis of what I described Ball as earlier. You know, he's really you can see high highs, you can see real low lows. I feel like with Obi, you're getting the exact opposite. You're gonna get a real steady presence. Yeah. Can't so he's not going to give you like that superstar, superstar. Like, oh no, I don't think so. Out of the uh, so Kansas, Kentucky, UNC, and Duke, so the big four like powerhouse for college basketball, were shut out in the NBA lottery for the first time since 2000. Crazy, it's crazy to me. What were the four teams again? Kansas, Kentucky, Kansas, Kentucky, UNC, and Duke. UNC and Duke, it's nuts. Yeah, they didn't really have any. Yeah, they didn't have they didn't really have any guys this year. I mean, well, they, they had great players, obviously, but they didn't have like draft great players, you know. Yeah, I think so far it's just Cole Anthony and Maxi. Yeah, because Kansas doesn't have anyone besides Azubuke that could get drafted this year, mm-hmm. and he's a late first round, early second round pick. North Carolina's just Cole Duke Anthony. Didn't have anybody? Duke hasn't had anybody yet. But they could get Trey Jones, and they could get um, Vernon Carey, but Vernon Carey is like a second round, late first round, early second round. And um, what was the fourth one? Kansas, Duke, Kentucky. Kentucky just got Tyrus Max. Yeah, so Tyrus Maxey was their guy to, to draft this year. So mm-hmm. it makes sense. It's just like you said, it's shocking to hear, but it doesn't make sense. Excuse me. All right, Eric, what are you thinking here? Not much. Not much. Oh, sorry, sorry. The nuggets are up. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I knew what you meant, though. I don't know. You you guys tell me. Who, who at this point should the Knicks be hoping to land with this pick? RJ Hampton. RJ Hampton. Yeah, yeah. Dude, if the Knicks can get RJ Hampton, I mean, that's – Listen, Knicks fans want a successful draft, and they've been asking for a successful draft since God knows when. If you get RJ Hampton as well as Obi Toppin, I'll be happy with that. I truly will be. Easy to I might tune into the first take tomorrow morning just to hear what Steve May Smith has to hear about these picks. Oh, yeah. Oof, always so entertaining. 
Usually he's just depressed, but I feel like he'll be happy tomorrow. Is he tweeting right now? Let's see. He must be, right? Oh, you'd expect. My favorite are the videos of him dissing the Cowboys from his home. Those are the best. Oh, he's like giggling. So funny. Yeah. The Cowboys hat with his scar. Yeah, so funny. He says, he, I like Obi Toppin a lot. He's going to rep the city. I have no doubt. But the next, the next needed a guard. So if you have RJ at 23, you better be taking RJ. Oh, And the, the Nuggets don't need a point guard at all. They don't. They have Jamal. They have um, Gary Harris. And I think Jeremy Grant plays a little guard for them, but he's mostly a forward, I think. So, Tyler, let's give a quick points update. What are we at? Um, Frank, you're still at 92. Eric, you're at 89. And I'm still at 78. I've gotten three points from the draft. Frank, you've gotten two. And Eric with one. Woo! Pick is in. What are we thinking here, boys? Frank, you had Leandro Balmero. And Eric, you had Trey Jones. Uh, Who would you have? Cole Anthony. No. Oh, okay. So I'm I'm out of this one, but power forward. If Jeremy Grant leaves, you couldn't think of any other like need for the Nuggets. The twenty second pick in the two thousand twenty NBA draft. The Denver Nuggets select Zeke Naji from the University of Arizona. Ooh. Bit of a bit of a I know that is. Wildcat of Arizona. All I heard was RJ Hampton is still on the board. That's all I heard. That's all Eric heard. Yeah. Uh, who is this guy? You never heard of Zeke? No. Very I don't watch a lot player. of Arizona games. Very good player. Is he? Yeah. I I would probably if I were to make a second round mock draft, he would probably go top five picks of the second round. Hmm. I was considering him for my thirtieth pick, but I had to showboat a little and go with Peyton Pritchard. Of course, yeah, naturally. Guys, we're getting closer to RJ being there at twenty five. Oh, no. Don't take this from me, Pedarini. Listen, if the, if New York doesn't take him, New Orleans isn't going to take him because they have pie right now. I thought you said that we had 25. Yeah, New Orleans is 24. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. Sorry. Sorry. I misheard you. Dumbass. Yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> oh, wait. No, they have... Oh, no, it is New Orleans. Yeah, you're good. So it's Knicks, New Orleans, and then Timberwolves, but it's not their pick yet. Yep. Yeah. No, it is. Is it official trade? Oh, I don't know. I think yeah. it would, I think it's going to be, though. It is. It's one, of, it's one of those. Oh, dude, RJ Hampton is just who you pick here, bro. You would think so. They could go Trey Jones. They're gonna though. mess this up. Wait, they could they go Trey Jones. They're gonna mess it up. Who do I have him taking? Uh, How do you not take RJ Hampton? Oh, this is a trade. They could take Theo Maladon. I get a point. I'd be cool with that. Playoffs in the last seven seasons. Oof. No, Starting point guard. Yeah, there you go, right there. Player development. You can't acquire that in a draft. <laughs> They should just have one arrow that says a basketball team. <laughs> Talent. Somebody <laughs> who can dribble a basketball. <laughs> Did you see that, bro? It said it said player development. You can't get that in a draft. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, what are they doing over at ESPN? A new grill. 
I'm telling you, this graphics department's on, they're on something. <laughs> Literally, they have to be. JR would not be happy. So JR would want to be in the graphics department right now with, how, with what they're smoking in there. <laughs> so it wasn't Balmero and it wasn't Trey Jones. Me and Frank have seven potential correct picks left. Eric, five. you have five. We're finishing with one. That's established. It's the second overall. Yeah, not great. Like I said, the uh, most obvious pick in the draft is the one I nailed. Yeah, the most, nailed yeah, the, the most obvious one we can think of is the one we all get. I nailed it. I should have played it safe with Anthony Edwards at one. I was, I was taking a risk. Yeah, me too. Me too. Stupid of me. Let us see. So for this one, I have Theo Maladon. Tyler, who do you have? Here, I have Theo Maladon. And who's Eric have? Tyrese, I think. Tyrese. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. He gone. There's a reason I had him going 10. That guy's a steal. Yeah. I would definitely respect the Maladon pick, though. But I don't think – you can't pass up RJ. What position is Maladon? Point guard. Point guard, too. All right. But yeah, yeah. RJ it is. I think, I think Maladon's a bit of a better shooter. But Maybe I'm crazy, but my expectations are so low for the Knicks. If they just get a point guard here, I'll be like, good job, guys. You read, you know? You read the PG. And you good read. job. You read your team needs. Yeah. Hayden good job, Pritchard buddy. would be a great pick here. They're not taking Peyton Pritchard. Bro, Peyton Pritchard is getting picked in the first round. I'm telling you. He's a first-round talent. And he's got the So is Archie Hampton. He's dropping all the way to 24. of a lottery pick. Dude, no one cares about Jake Billis' freaking best available. I do. RJ, baby. Woo! That just means they're not going to get RJ. Oh, yeah. Woodward right. sucks. Snag Trey Jones, then. Pick us in, Eric. Who we think? RJ. I got to go RJ. I can already see the T-shirts. RJ and RJ. They'll, they'll, they'll dig that shit up. <laughs> Delete that shit up. It's New York. Oh, dude. RJ squared. Ha, ha, ha. I mean, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's printing money. Mm. I like this pick for the – I like this trade for the Knicks. Hmm. It's fine. Draft rights to Ante. 2008 second round pick. What the – has he not come over – has he not come over yet? I mean, Let's put it this way. If he hasn't come over yet, I don't think he's going to. He's not going <laughs> Like, what? I don't think he's going to. He was, he's about, he was seven years old. He's about five years out of his prime at this point. Yeah. He, was like, he was like, oh, the Knicks drafted me? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> bro, the Knicks got my rights? I'm definitely not coming now, bro. Yeah, he was just getting out of his car in the airport. When he got back <laughs> just in. get out of the taxi, bro. Yeah, it's like that uh, Grandpa Simpson meme. He puts the hat on the thing, but he just <laughs> yeah. he goes right back out. Yeah. As we go next door. Oh, look at that timing. Perfect. Best in the business. With the 23rd pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the New York Knicks select Leandro Omaro from Cordoba, Argentina. Did you have that, Tyler? <laughs> no. <laughs> They're freaking stupid. What is this pick? I don't think anyone on earth had that pick besides the Knicks. <laughs> They're so goddamn stupid. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. There's gotta be <laughs> one of the two of you could say about this. There has to be. You want a positive? Yeah, give me something. Give me something. <laughs> There's nothing to give. One of his assets they just listed is high motor. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. They're comparing him to Met to, to Messi. So there's your comparison. 
Sonic. <laughs> Whoa. Well, <laughs> they're so bad. Death taxes the Knicks will disappoint Take- you. <laughs> yeah, just how it is. Bro, they just yeah. showed, they just showed the graphic. It said Leandro Balmero, shooting guard, Argentina, and then under it just said PPG. There's no numbers next to points per game. Nothing. It just said PPG. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? Yeah. Whoa, man. Bro, I what mean, is happening? What okay, is this? So they're showing he can pass the ball, but he's still a shooting guard. Dude, Knicks. Could what are you doing? RJ Hampton is on the board. Oh my god. <laughs> this was bizarre. I mean, it's not anger. It's, it's I'm confused. I I don't know. So Frank, I think it was me and you talking about this, maybe, or maybe it was me and Mains, but in order for the Knicks to make this deal, they were like, Oh, I really like someone in this spot, and this is who they had their eyes on. I don't Great. see why. Yeah. That was me. That was me, by the way. Um, he, he's a young guy with upside, I guess, but aren't all of them, aren't all these guys young guys with upside? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you could have taken RJ, you could have taken Trey Jones, you could have taken Tyrell Terry. Listen, here's my problem with this pick everything that you can possibly say positive about the about Balmero, which listen, there's a lot of positives to his game, but he's <laughs> first round pick in the NBA. Yeah, he's a good player, but everything that he has going for him, RJ does too. RJ also is better in all those aspects. Why? Why get another shooting? What am I missing? Can he play point guard? I get. I don't know that much about him again. It's a European guy, but I I don't know the European guys that well. I just uh, what they want. (sighs) shooting guard depth on a team that has not not even depth or anything else well who's your shooting guard right now it's kevin knox isn't it yeah eh. mm. still though i don't know is, i would have loved a point guard this is a mess i would love i <sighs> bucks please don't take rj let him drop in my hands all right, guys. I think much like Obi, I gotta go in my bed and just start crying. So this was one. <laughs> Best of luck, Frank, to your wolves. All right, Eric. Yes. It's been a long night's journey. It has Love been. You, Adios, Eric. Guys. See ya. That was a terrible pick. <laughs> terrible. Lord. Wait, what? Hold on. I'm muting myself. The 24th pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select RJ Hampton from Little Elm, Texas. God damn it. So RJ Hampton, who opted not to play in college and instead go overseas to play. That makes no sense. Is, is, there a, is there a tweet saying that they traded, the Knicks traded that guy in Minnesota? Balmero? Yeah. I don't think so. so. My buddy just texted him that we that they traded in Minnesota. Hold on. That's a great pick for the box. They needed a point guard so bad. It's not the Bucks pick. It's the Pelicans pick. Why are the Pelicans taking him? They're oh my stupid. God. They already have Kyra Lewis. Took him 20 minutes ago. No. Did they? No. Did they? Yes. <laughs> Oh my God! What are we doing? What happened? Knicks are se- Knicks are sending Balmer to Minnesota for number twenty-five and thirty-three. What are we doing, people? All right. Well, I'm calling Eric. Hold on.
He's got to hop back on the next. Yeah, we got to bring Eric back on. Now. Hold on, I'm calling him right now. Hold on, Nick's have a pick. Eric, come back. No, go back. Eric, answer the phone. Damn it, Eric. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so frustrated. That <laughs> makes sense now, he says. Oh, in Denver. Okay. With the 25th pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the Oklahoma City Thunder select Emmanuel Quickly from the University of Kentucky. He's great, too. Okay, Knicks. Okay, Knicks. Is that, no, is that the next pick? That would be the next. Yeah. Oh, Eric's got to see this. Hold on. Listen, that's a good pick. That's a good pick. They got a point guard. Nick's actually did something competent. Quickly, so good. He never misses. Period. Dude, we could have used this guy so bad. What are we freaking doing? The, the, he's so good quickly he's very good Hold on, I'm meeting myself for a quick second. You're muted. I know. I was talking. I was talking to Max. He called me. I'm back now, though. Disappointed in my wolves, for being completely honest. Um, uh, could have used quickly. I'd rather have quickly than Leandro Bar Barnona or whatever his name is. Balmaro. Balmaro. Um. Only way they make it up to me now is you draft Miles Powell in the second round. All right, well. Malachi Flynn, Boston. Very easy pick. Malachi Flynn. I forgot we even made picks for a second. Nothing special. Goal reliable. Take the white guy. What pick are we on? 26. Oh, I have this random Asian guy, so I'm out. Eric, Eric has Isaiah Stewart, so he's out too. It's just you. Yep, just me. Malachi Flynn. Easy pick. Keep him moving. Shea. Um, it's been a good time. I wish, you know, that there's some guys that passed on 
Shut up, John Kyle Powery. Swear to God, John Cal Power takes every opportunity to be on television. Oh, yeah, I love Coach Cal. He's okay. Oh, sure. English papers got moved back. What? Nothing. School. Who do you take here if you're Boston? Who's left? Uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Not long still there. Um, da, 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 Theo. I'll take Theo. They already have Naismith. I guess they could go back up point guard. They could go Trey Jones, actually, now that I just saw that. Um, they could go Malachi Flynn, like he said. Um, uh, again, man, you don't really know. It's kind of – this draft is kind of like a like a thrown together. So. If I had to guess, I'd say – Uh, I'll say I'll say Trey. I'll say Trey Jones. They would they would need a uh, no they have market smart back a point card. No, go Theo. He's a he's a small forward, isn't he? They already had they took Naismith though. Yeah, but you can never have enough depth, especially if Gordon Hayward's like leaving next year. I think his contract's up next year. Could take Jade McDaniels. Oh, you could. I forgot he was still on the board. Yeah. You could take Jade McDaniels. Because you're, are you, do you want to put all your, do you want to put everything on Daniel Tice or do you want to get, do you want to get another big band, you know? That's true. That's very true. McDaniels might make sense. You could go, you could also, you know what, you could go Vernon Carey. You could go Carey. You could go Jaden McDaniels. You could go Azabuke. Yeah. You could go. Let's see. With the 26th pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the Boston Celtics select Peyton Pritchard. Yes! yes. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> what is he doing this early? <laughs> Can I get a pick for that? Can I get a point for that? No, you're not going to get a point for that. I you had, had 30. Richard going to the Celtics. You had him 30. That's the rule we made. God damn it. I should get a point for that. I should get a point for a lot of things, but it sucks. This guy's a dog. So good. Oh my god, this guy can freaking play. He's this so clutch. clutch performer. So clutch. The, this guy's the definition of clutch. I remember oh Seton Hall. We lost that game. We're up 17. Um I remember that you remember that shot he had against Washington? Yeah. Oh my god. One of the clutchest shots I've ever ever seen. There it is right there. Yep. So is this guy so good? Cold blood of this dude. I swear if they take Malachi Flynn at 30. <laughs> oh my god, imagine. I'm giving myself a point if they take Malachi Flynn at 30. No, you're not getting a point. I am giving myself You can't a just point. bend the rules because it benefits you. I'm giving I'm I don't matter anymore, so I'm giving myself a point if that happens. I have Desmond Bain going here. What's the pick? Utah? Okay. Utah. Utah. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Utah. 
I will say I'm the only one that has four possible points left. Eric has three. And you only have two. This is a great draft for the Celtics. The Celtics did it again, bro. They did it again. They, they finessed every team again. I mean, can you blame them? Bill is best available. Who is it? That makes sense. That's um, Jamie Downs makes sense. Yeah. Bro, where's Malachi at? I don't even know who this Woodward guy is. I don't know who this Daniel Otoro guy is. Woodard, Robert Woodard sucks. Woodard, Woodard's one of those guys where when he's on and when he's playing bad teams, he goes off. Yeah. But as soon as he's playing in like a close game, you just big big time choke artist. I mean, not even show. He just doesn't show up. Just doesn't play. Dude, what the heck is the freaking order of this? All right, Jazz. Game? With the 27th pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the Utah Jazz select Yudoku Azubuki from Delta, Nigeria. Oh, damn it. I'm a 30. First Kansas guy. Why are they taking a center? Because they're the Jazz, not very smart, clearly. Alrighty, well. Mm-hmm. Hear me out. What if they're planning on trading Rudy Gobert right here? Hmm. Both know that things have gone sour between him and Donovan. So what if they're trying to move? Move Rudy? Over, or Gobert, sorry. What would they get for returning for him, though? Right. I don't see it. He offers too much defense for them. He's their entire he's, defense. He's bleacher. Of, I, think, I think everyone's mistaking this day for – 420 because everybody it seems like everyone's smoking something crazy today. The Bleacher Report pro comparison for Yudoka Azubuike. Can you guess who it is? You'll never guess. It's Daniel Gafford. Daniel Gafford from the Bulls? Sure. I would never have said that. Gafford's way more, way more mobile than he is. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, these pro comparisons are terrible. Some of them, some of the other ones are a little bit better. Like James Wiseman's pro comparison is Hassan Whiteside. Obi Top. Hold on, Hassan can't shoot. I don't know. Obi Top, oh, this is this is fantastic. Obi Toppin's pro comparison is John Collins. Yeah. Really, I totally disagree. With less of a less of a jumper. Obi's massive. I think they have similar play styles though. Cole Anthony pro comparison is Colin Sexton. Yeah, quick. I'm okay. sure. Tyrese Halliburton pro comparison, Lonzo Ball. He's a better shooter than Lonzo. A yeah, much better shooter than Lonzo. Denny Abdija, Gordon Hayward. I don't know Denny Abdija's game at all. I think that's pretty pretty close. Killian Hayes is Goran Dragic. Okay. Lamelo Ball's pro comparison is Penny Hardaway, who's not even playing anymore. So if you want to go all the way back to Penny Hardaway for somebody, but you have to fucking reach to Daniel Gafford for Azubuike. Azubuike, who does that remind me of? He's like... I 
biggest thing? I don't know. I, I don't really have like, a comparison to this one. I think he's like a cat that can't shoot. No, cats. he's a way better rebounder than Cat is. So apparently this is Minnesota's pick. I'm so confused. This draft order is so shot. Yeah, this is Minnesota's pick. So who are we going to take? Trey Jones. I don't want Trey Jones. We already have Tyus, Tyus Jones. We already have Tyus Jones. I don't want to have Jones on the goddamn team. Aren't they brothers? Are they brothers? No. Oh. oh, actually, maybe. Wait a second. Yeah, I think they are. All right, so I'm going on the mind frame as a Minnesota fan here. What do I want? I want a defender. Draft a defender, please. They are brothers. Fuck you. Are they? I didn't think so. I, on, I took it back. Trey. I said maybe. Get Trey Jones. Get the brother. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want Trey Jones. Get Trey Jones. Who's left? We both had Nico Mannion. That's not happening. Well, I didn't think it would be Minnesota's pick. We could get Desmond Bain. Yeah. I'd like a shooter. I'd be cool with that. Tyrell Terry's still on the board, too. Is he a defender? No. Then pass. I don't know if you're going to get defense and offense in the same player this late in the draft. No, I either want a three-point shooter or a defender. Can Tyrell shoot? I think so, yeah. Oh, my God. Look at this freaking photoshopped as hell. Jesus Christ. Bro, Kyra looking like a stud. All right, so apparently – okay, so this was the Lakers pick, and then it was OKC's, and then we got it in the trade that we sent OKC. Um, what pick was that, 17? Sure. Yeah, because we had 17. Yeah, okay. Ooh, what if I take what if I get Jenny McDaniels? Oh, I take Jenny McDaniels. It's the 28th pick in the 2020 NBA draft. The Los Angeles Lakers select Jaden McDaniels. Yes, I love Jaden McDaniels. I'll definitely take him. Nice. To be chosen tonight as Jaden McDaniels from his home in Renton, Washington, is selected. We told you eventually that's going to wind up in Minnesota. Yeah, that's that's a good pick. I forgot he was still on the board, bro. Oh, cousin Jawan Howard, ring. Automatic ring. Jalen, never heard of you. Oh, 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 okay. I don't know a lot about you, but I think I'm going to start to like you, Jaden. This guy's nasty. Right? Love the braces. Nice. Six technicals. Jesus. <laughs> Hothead, hothead. Why trade the pig? It would have been perfect for the Lakers. This could be a... Uh, a Trey Jones or a Nico Mannion? I have. I have Tyrell Terry. I'm the only one to play here. Yeah. And uh, 
Eric is the only one to play with the 30th pick with Vernon Carey. Well, I'll get my imaginary pick if Malachi Flynn goes number 30. I know that your sports calendar is a little bit off. Make a point in your heart. Yeah. Who's the GM of the Celtics? Danny Ainge. I'm going to send Danny Ainge a hate letter if they take uh, Malachi Flynn number 30. Dude, imagine I come all the way back in this and lose by two because Danny Ainge's fat ass decided to take Peyton Pritchard 27 or 26 instead of Malachi Flynn and Malachi Flynn 30. Or imagine if I come back and somehow get to um, somehow get ahead of Eric before you hit 100. I mean, it's unlikely, but possibly. Oh, if I tie him, this should be the tiebreaker. The fact that I fucking got. It doesn't two. matter if I win. Yeah, but somebody has to do the punishment. You're both doing the punishment. No. Bro. I thought it was a two and three thing. No. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm pretty sure we agree on if you don't win, you laugh. If We said it on, on air. I remember. I said, if you're not first, you're last. So you should both do it. I don't remember that. Look at the tape. I don't even know what episode that would be. Uh, I don't either. Take Tyrell Terry. Redeem it for me. Make this a, a, a decent night. Uh, I lied. We did, we did a pretty good draft. Shock Peyton Pritchard went that high. No, man's a god. Don't speak ill. No, he's Peyton. great, but like, I don't know. I went to Washington Field on Jay McDaniels. I know nothing about him. Already pick his in Tyrell Terry. I don't think so, but Tyrell Terry. Superstars now. Right. But what I'm saying is that you had guys like Steph and Kawhi that you didn't necessarily know that on draft night when we, we covered their drafts. You know? All so, right, just go down and show Come on. You can say not. I, 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 so I, I don't know, know if I saw that. Yeah, if we thought that now, they'd be. Jay Billis, no one's listening to your goddamn ass. You've been wrong on like everything. Really? Six, top seven in the league. Like, I don't think there's too many. I think there's a lot of stars. I think there's a lot of superstars. So it's hard for me to put any of these guys right now next superstar category. Yeah, it's kind of the definition of surprise. I mean, you know, like... <laughs> You got, the definition of your job is to forecast the job what I'm going to see, right? It's that be on my boat in the south of no, France it's if I can an battle. analyst, not a magician. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's duck and weed. Please shut up. Toronto with the 29th pick. Who's it going to be? With the 29th pick. In the 2020 NBA draft, the Toronto Raptors select Malachi Flynn from San Diego State University. Go pick. It's 
Let's get back. Good. His rights talked about him a couple of times tonight. Malachi Flynn going to Toronto. He was a Mountain West Player of the Year and the Defensive Player of the Year. Starting his career at Washington. I thought they'd go more shooting guard instead of. Nah, like, like I said before, they need a point guard for when Kyle Lowry gets too old to play. Yeah, but are they keeping. Uh, are they keeping Freddie? Probably not. I think it's. I think so you, need, it's you, need, you need somebody to replace Freddie. They got OG. They're gonna, OG. They might, start, they, might, they might start Malachi Flynn at the at the two, maybe, and then put OG at small forward, and then Pascal power forward, and then whoever they want to fill in the center, uh, Marcus All maybe. I don't know. I, th- I think this was the best point guard available. Still. Reminds me a little bit of Deontay, uh, Devontae Graham out of Kansas. And another in your brother theory, he's the youngest of seven. Mm. And there is the family wow. picture, the youngest of seven. Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> That's quite the crew they got going. He also grew a foot. So which, one is, which one is Malachi? That bottom right. Oh. Oh. What? Bottom right, I think. I hope so. <laughs> All right, Tyler. Who are they taking here? Last pick of the first round. Fuck, oh, I don't know. Who would you have taking instead of uh, Peyton? Huh? Okay. Who was your Who was your Celtics pick before when they took Peyton? Malachi Flynn. Oh, okay. Uh, anybody but Vernon Carey. Anybody but Vernon Carey. Honestly, it very well could be for, uh, Vernon Carey. Who knows at this point? Are they playing the second round after this or no? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And if you talk to people who knew Fred Van Vliet at that age, they would say Malachi's temperament was very similar. Not as exactly his game, but just the way he approaches things. He's not some brash guy. I'm stretched, Tyler. But he commands respect from his team. And really well conditioned. Last one. Well, certainly well, because there's not a lot of time to get ready. Because I don't know if I'm going to stay on for the second round. It started the season uh, just less than a month. I probably, yeah, I probably won't either. I got a pack. In July of 2019, the Celtics got this first round pick that they're about to make, the final pick of the first round. The Suns. way longer than I thought it would. A first round pick in 2019's draft, the 24th overall. The oh, they traded Aaron, Aaron Baines? That's how they traded Aaron Baines away? I forgot about that. Baines going in that trade. So the Celtics are on the clock. The Celtics have uh, already chosen Aaron Neesmith and Peyton Pritchard tonight. The Celtics are about to make the pick, but Woj joins us now. Uh, where is this pick going to wind up, Adrian? Reese, uh, this pick is on its way to the Memphis Grizzlies. Oh! Grizzlies out of nowhere from the top rope! <laughs> Woj bomb! Woj bomb! Draft process, but now Boston will select this pick for the Grizzlies. Right, Who the Grizzlies would want? Ooh, I have no idea. Have they had a pick yet tonight? I don't think no, so. No, they have. No, they didn't have a pick. Okay, I was gonna say. I don't remember ever talking about the Grizzlies. So, with a minute left on the clock, the selection has been made by Boston for the Grizzlies. I don't know. Let's see. Anybody ever but Vernon Carey? The 2020 NBA Draft. The Boston Celtics select. Desmond Bain from Christian from Texas. Oh, I like that for Memphis, actually. No, that's a good pick. I like that for them. Good shooter. Yeah. He has basketball IQ. Thank you for reading. That concludes the first round. The second round will be conducted by Deputy Commissioner Mark Tatum. Before I turn things over to Mark, I want to send my appreciation to all NBA fans watching around. The Shut world. up, Adam Silver. Actually, Adam not Silver that time. I like Adam Silver, actually, but I'm just tired. Here in the United States, a very happy Thanksgiving. That's it for me, but please stay tuned for the second round. Thank you. 
Commissioner, thank you very much. Desmond Bain was the final pick of the first round. Celtics made it for the Grizzlies. He was raised by his great a good pick. parents, Bob and Bob. a good pick. Into their home at the age of two. I'm curious to know what they gave up. I guess it would be their second round pick uh, this year, which is like 40 something. Maybe. And then probably another first round pick in the future. I don't know about a first round pick in the future, but. The Grizzlies might have had two second round picks this year and might have given those up. Maybe. Team defense, he makes the right pass, but he's got deep range and accuracy. The last two right. years, 44% from three point range. He's very efficient in catch and shoot situations. Off of well, that was fun. It's been a journey. Yeah, it's a long one. Final score check. Oh, you can see it now. Oh, I can't see it. 92, 89, 78. Coming back. End of the night. <sighs> I'm tired. That was a. Uh... I'm tired, dude. That was that was grueling. The amount of trades we had with freaking picks. That took a lot out of me. Yeah. Well, that'll do it for this week. Until next week, when we have our energy back. <laughs>